Hey, Ashley. How you doing? Can you hear me? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How you doing? Hope your Christmas was good. Get my voice going here. Uh, let's see. Do I want to move it? I can move everything over this way. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a whole bunch of books for Christmas. A couple of them are hubsters. This one, this one, the, three of them are hubsters, but I thought I'd show them all because we, you know, he'll we'll we'll share information on them if we don't, if we don't read them. Um, let's see. It was good. Okay, good. Hi, Darla. Let me make sure my lighting is all focused. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, we'll go through this and um, yeah, <laughs> maybe work in some art journaling. We'll see how much time we have. Hi, Pacola. Yes, I saw that. Now let me figure out how to pin this. Oh, pin user in timeout. I gotta figure out how to pin that comment. I don't know how to pin it, um, Pacola. I don't know if I can do it in StreamYard. Yeah, Pacola's got the link there for Mary's, um, the schedule for Mary. I, I Let me see if I got it here. I think I have the, here's the, there's the Google Doc. There's the Google Doc, Pacola, right there. The direct the direct um, link to Mary's schedule with links. If you want to grab that, that's the Google Doc. Either one, it's just to be able to find it. Oh, good, Ashley. Yeah, you got your bunch. Hi, Bissa. Pamela, Nancy. I know I'm probably missing people. Um, yeah, so Mary posted her schedule for i'll read it i'll read it once and at around nine o'clock and then you can go to the google docs or to mary's channel and find the link to it so if you want to do the uh go through and watch everybody on new year's eve streamathon uh new year's eve morning and into new year's day it will uh, go, she's she's extending it through New Year's Day. So she's got, let me see how many people. Let's see if I can count this correctly. Let's see. I think she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, including Mary streaming at the beginning and the end. I think there's 18 streams, including Mary twice. So there's like 18 streams. They're two hours each. They're two hours each. So that's a lot of hours of streams <laughs> for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Hi, Julie Topaz. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh that's uh that's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun streamage. <laughs> and it starts on New Year's Eve with Mary at 6:30 in the morning, 6:30 Eastern. So Mary streams from 6.30 to 8.30. Then I stream from 8.30 to 10.30. And I'll read them all off. But if there, here's the Google Doc. And you can, also, you can also go to Mary's channel, which uh, Pacola posted a minute ago. Let me put it in the, on the screen. Let's go back here. Yeah. <laughs> Pacola, hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Hi, Beth, Teresa. Let's see who else. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll read them off in a little while. And then um, you can go there where Pacola put the Mary's channel in, I think it's in the community tab. Or you can go to the link I just posted that has the Google Doc, um, a list of all of them that Mary gave us this morning. Well, I got it this morning. I, she may have posted it last night. So, um, yeah. So that starts on Thursday morning. I'm going to, I'll do my regular stream on Wednesday. I, reg I stream normally, you know, Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, but I come on about 8.30 to say good morning and chit-chat with everybody. And then I'll, I'm will i going to stream on Thursday morning as well for the New Year Eve stream-a-thon. And it goes in, I just should say it, call it the New Year's, because it's not just New Year's Eve, it's through New Year's Day. So, hi, Karina. So, I'll read everybody's name off. And uh, so if you're interested and uh, yeah, <laughs> attending. So let's see. Hi, Andrew. Good to see you. Good morning. <laughs> Say hi to the cats. Oh, where's my phone? I do have a, let's see. Uh, let me go over here to my soundboard. I don't play with my soundboard as much as I used to. Let me find it. Where's my soundboard? Oh, there it is. Let's see here what we can find. Let me turn up my volume. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's find something for the cats. <laughs> Hi, 3G. Hi, Cheshire Cat. Lynette, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Karina, I know I'm probably missing people. I said hi to Ashley. Barb, Chicken Pot Pie Society. I'm looking at my I'm looking at my um, soundboard here. I was trying to find cats. I know I have a, a growling, um, you know, the cat that I always played for Terry. I always played this one for Terry. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So let's see. I said hi to 3G. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Again, I want to really, you know, let everybody know about the New Year's Eve Streamathon. Mary uh, put it together. Mary um, hosted it this year. Uh, it's been hosted by G Music Scrap Jean in past years, and she handed it off to Mary this year. And um, so thank you, Mary, for putting it all together, putting links. And Mary does awesome with hops. If you don't follow Mary, um, she does a lot of hops, you know, YouTube hops. We go from one video to the next person. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Anybody else I missed? I did get all the color book winners out, but one. So if we see, um, I wrote her name down. Where's her name? Um, Leslie Kenrick. If Leslie comes in, she has not sent me her address. So Leslie has not, did not send your color book out that you won. She won the country Christmas color book. And I didn't, I mean, I looked in Spain, you know, who knows what happened, but I did not get your address, Leslie. So if you're listening to this or pop in, uh, I need your address, Leslie, so I can send you the book you won. Yes, she does, Barb. Mary does rock. <laughs> but uh, I got all the other ones sent out. So then the next thing I got to do is get all my thank you prints made for um, for everybody that supported the channel in December. And those I hopefully will get out the first week of January. So, Yeah. So I hope everybody had a good Christmas, Christmas Eve or holidays, whatever, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, um, you know, however you celebrate your holidays. I hope they were good for you. And uh, yeah, Hubster's off this week. So um, I was hoping to get them on today's show <coughs> and maybe maybe I can get them on Wednesday 
he planned out. I mean, he has a week off, so then he, well, I got to get the tires rotated, got to get the oil changed, <laughs> all this stuff. So I'll try to get him on the on the show uh, and maybe do the uh, how to play Liverpool Gin, Gin Rummy, and how to play that card game that we've talked about. So we'll see if I can get him on maybe on Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Said hi. I'm trying to see if I miss saying good morning to everybody. Thanks everybody that are that's lurking. Hi Abigail, how you doing? Good morning. I'm sure I'm missing people. Let's see, Tina. I don't think I've met you, Tina. O. Oh, Tina O. Oh. Hi Candice. Candice Music. I was painting with the Hemi gouache. In world within worlds all day yesterday. It feels so cruel to be working a day. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you got to stop by, Candace. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, did um, I, I'm going to ask y'all after a while if anybody got any books or bought books with gift cards or anything. We went and uh, went to Barnes and Noble yesterday. And uh, hi, Katrina. Dropped off a present to uh, Boo for her birthday. I can't believe Boo's 18. And um, then we went over to the books, went over to books, um, Barnes and Noble. And so uh, spent our book money, <laughs> our Christmas book money, Hubster and I. So, um, yeah. Hi, Katrina. Deborah. Anybody else? So uh, if y'all have, did you, did you buy any books or order any books or get some new books for Christmas? I love to talk books. I always said if this wasn't, if I didn't have an art YouTube channel, I'd have a book channel discussing and reviewing books and stuff like that. Uh, I would have a book channel if I didn't have an art channel. <laughs> I love to read. I've always loved to read and I love to talk about books. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Julie. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Candace got a watercolor coloring book, Prima Princesses. I know I've seen the other, you know, the watercolor ones. I don't think I've seen that one. It, I don't think it's the same one because I don't know the name of it, but it has all the faces. Or is that a different one? Hi, B. Let's see. Hi, Bethany. Um, I don't think I know that. Let's see. I finally got the Last Night Angel book by Brent Weeks. I have to write down. I'll go through and write down some of the books that y'all recommend, or if you you have read any of them, or if you do recommend the authors. Because a lot of times we collect authors we like. Let's see. Crystalline. I've got one called Murder Maps Crime Scenes Revisited. Um, Edward. Yeah, I, I like Edward Gorey. Um, I have his biography. Yeah, I think that's. Is that his biography? I don't know which one. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of his biography, but um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Abigail got some secondhand nature books, wanted to collage, but now I can't bring myself to tear them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know it. Sometimes it's hard, you know, depending on the book. Hi, Jane. Annie Mame. Hi. How you doing, Annie Mame? How you doing? I know why like, Annie Bame sent me that book on the patterns. Um, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. Ashley's saying I got Britt Marie was here, which I've already finished starting Neil, Neil, got, get Neil Gaiman's Norse mythology. You have to let us know how they go, how they are. Hi, G. Uh, let's see. Tracy. 
Oh, Tina. I said hi to Tina. So if you're just joining us, um, I'm Dee Dee, as you can see right there. This is coffee and art in the morning and books when we get new books. And I uh, love to talk books, <laughs> books, magazines. Hi, Lynn. Probably already read it, but I just started Hamilton Bio. Very interesting. I, I think Hubster has that one. Hubster, I think Hubster has that in his stack. We each have stacks. <laughs> My whole bedroom dresser from end to end is books. <laughs> All the books that I'm either reading, studying, annotating. <laughs> So, yeah, I got to say of all these books. Now, I did look at this one on the way th drive home through Atlanta yesterday. It's just an hour and traffic was horrible. Yes, I guess everybody going back to Florida through Atlanta. And so when we came south through Atlanta and um, traffic was pretty heavy, it took it took us a couple hours to get home uh, from Denise's. Um, but. I, I looked through this book on the way. I actually bought it to cut up, but it's like, it's one of those like, yeah, but I'll know. I'll see. But that's why I bought this one. And I'm going to show them all. But I'll tell you, of all the books, I, I glanced through them on the way home. This one, this one was, or we ordered, this one's Hubsters that he had ordered. I think all the rest of them we got at Barnes & Noble. This one is the one I'm most excited about. And if Lady True North Jan comes in, I have to tell her about this. She and I are Cad Fail lovers. We love our Cad Fail. <laughs> and if she comes in, or or Lady Jan, if you read, if you come in the show later, um, you've got to probably enjoy this book. I haven't read it yet. I just you know glanced through it, but I will read the uh, I'll read the inside. So. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I know, Annie Mame. It was really bad traffic coming all the way from North Georgia to South Atlanta, South of Atlanta. It, yeah, because everybody was, I guess, going back to Savannah, going back to Florida, going, I don't know where, any, anywhere south of Atlanta. They have to come down 75, you know, and so uh, <laughs> it was it was pretty bad, but it was all right. We, you know, we talk, we read, we put on the chill channel. <laughs> serious chill channel and uh and chill <laughs> and the only thing is if you have to go to the bathroom you know you better go to the bathroom before you hit the road because you might get stuck in traffic <laughs> that's the only thing um let's see did, did you get my christmas cards i don't think so abigail i hung all my christmas cards on my pantry door I don't remember yours, but I'll double check. I have them all hang. I need to take a picture of my pantry. I hang my um, Christmas cards on my pantry door, tape them up there every year, and then I take a picture at the end. Uh, I don't remember seeing yours, but, you know, I'll go to the post office with the, uh, tomorrow. No, let's see. What do I have to do tomorrow? Something. Maybe I can get to the post office tomorrow. Hubster's off this week, so sometime the next day or two, we'll, one of us will get down to the post office. So, yeah. Uh, what did you get for Christmas? Right here, Tracy. <laughs> Most lot of books. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Mostly books. I mean, I got a couple other things ordered. I got some, um, a few little art supplies ordered, but uh, yeah. Mostly books, um, Amazon gift cards, you know, everybody's mailing gift cards because they don't mail, you know, that a lot of presents. So um, I ordered a lot of stuff for the kids and everything way before the, you know, post office backup. <laughs> so I had all their stuff ordered and wrapped the first week of December. I got ahead of the game. <laughs> so a lot of books. Let's see. Um, it will come. You would remember if you had it. Somehow something you sent me, something you sent me is is fresh in my mind, Abigail, but, but I can't remember what it was. I try to keep up with everything and show everybody's stuff on my, and now I didn't show every single Christmas card. I, I didn't show every Christmas card that I got from the fibs. They're all hanging up on my pantry door. 
but um, if it came with something, then I would have shown it. So I'm not sure, Abigail, but somehow you seem, it seems familiar to me. Did you have something else in there? What else did you send me something else, didn't you, Abigail? Hi, Sylvia. Um, it's like right in the front of my mind, Abigail. You, you, you sent me candy, right? You sent me chocolates. You sent me chocolates. I showed that on the stream. You sent me chocolates and something else. What else did you send me? Because I showed that on stream a couple, two, three weeks ago. Does it, yeah, I showed it. Okay, yeah, the zine and the chocolate. That's right. Yeah, I showed it on stream. I did a couple weeks ago. Maybe three now? Maybe three weeks ago? Yeah, <laughs> I showed it, Abigail. You just probably weren't here that day. And it knew it sounded familiar. Yeah, the chocolates from the Netherlands. Yeah. <laughs> and I put your zine, I put your zine in the Fibs book. To, I've got to get to work on the Fibs book. You know, I tried to do the Fibs book and the foodie Fibs, the Fibs that are foodies. I was going to try to do two different books, but I'm not going to keep up with two books. I know I won't. So I'm going to have to recombine. I'm going to get some bigger disc rings. I'm going to get the big, um, they're not the Happy Planner rings. They're the, I forget the name, they're at the office supply store, the black ones are just black rings. I forget the name. They were before the Happy Planner. and uh, But they're bigger. They're this big. And uh, I'm going to get those to put, redo the Fibs book on those rings. As a matter of fact, let me make a note of that. Let me make a note to pick those rings up. Oops. I think I have a couple, but I don't have enough to, let's see, large um, rings. Plan, let, let me just write large planner rings. Because I need to do... Um, redo that book because i'm not i'll just if they're if you're a foodie and you're a fib i'll just take some of those foodie pages and put them in the fibs book because i i know i won't keep up with two books i have so many other books oh you were there then why are you asking me if i got it abigail if you were there oh my gosh <laughs> if you arc thank you lynn yeah the arc the arc rings. Let me write that down too. Um, yeah. They have larger rings than the happy planner, like this big. Well, they have smaller ones too, but they have a larger um, planner rings that fit the happy planners. The same punch, you know, they're punch. The same, the same arc punch is the same as the happy planner punch. They'll punch the same thing. So um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you sent me Christmas cards too. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't know if I got the Christmas cards. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to look on my pantry door. <laughs> but if there were something, you know, really special, like, you know, you handmade it and stuff like that, if they didn't come with the candy, then they're probably on my pantry. <laughs> oh, my gosh, girl. Uh, <laughs> hi Rin. <laughs> let's see um so yeah so i want to get i want to go back to work on the um the fibs book the friends in the box book and uh because i used to do um uh, let me get my i'm sitting on my foot hang on <laughs> and excuse the squeaky chair my old squeaky chair um, I used to do a collage for, um, you know, all about you collages and I would do collages and then photograph it. And this was before I even had cell phone, a cell phone. This was like way back when we first started streaming on Ustream and I would make an eight by 10 picture of it to keep and, or well, some of them I just made a five by seven, but I would send out the original collage the actual, uh, you know, eight and a half by 11 collage, I would send that out to the person. And what we would do is we'd ask questions like your favorite colors, your favorite animal, your favorite art supply. And I, and while everybody, you know, was asking the questions and that person was answering it, I would be making a collage based on the answers 
to those questions and we would do that and you know it would take the whole time take the three hours sometimes longer but um yeah so I don't have time to do that and too many fibs now friends in the box so I'm just making little pages in a book in a ring bound the happy planner type ring book and um, and flow book papers and other papers too because I have the punch so I can punch out whatever papers I want to put in the flow book. it's already this thick and uh, so I need to go through it, organize it, get everybody's names in there so that if I get a card or a, an ATC or something from that person, that'll go on their page. Uh, if that makes if that makes sense. I hear that all the time. Even Hubster said it the other day. If that makes sense. And I think to myself, I hear that at least once a day. When did that become um, when did that become a thing to say? We, everybody says it, too. We all do. If you, you know, if that makes any sense, we all say that. <laughs> it's like for a long time it was, it, that's problematic. <laughs> I hate it when there's something like that that you just hear over and over. It's like, I want to smack myself <laughs> when I say it, you know? Uh, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> hi, Gabrielle. Happy holidays. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Gabriella or Gabrielle. I like your av avatar. <laughs> so pretty. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't remember something bigger than the large size happy planner disc. Yeah, um, they got the arc system, Annie, Annie Mame, the arc. I don't have it in here. It's in my other room because I'm using it in a journal. But they're bigger. They're they're this big. The Happy Planner Large is about that big. Well, here I have a I have an extra Happy Planner one. Let's see where are they? Oh, I do have some uh, Arc ones. Okay, good. I might just be able. I'll have to buy some. Here's my extra Happy Planner and discs. Okay, so here's the large. This is the largest Happy Planner. Let me, there's like three different sizes. There's like this here. Let me see if I can pull out all the sizes. I think there's three sizes. I don't think there's four. Okay, so these are the sizes of the Happy Planner. See how that little heart in the middle? There we go. Um, the, this is the different sizes for the Happy Planner. This one is the largest Happy Planner one. This is the arc. That's the arc. So um, you get the you don't get these at the craft store. You only can get these at office office supply stores, Staples, Ma Office Max. You know wherever they sell the Arc system, and uh, and they're cheaper. <laughs> they're cheaper than the Happy Planners. <clears throat> but of course, with the Happy Planners, you can use coupons, right? You don't have a forty percent off coupon with uh, Art Supply. I mean the uh, what do you call it? The um, Office Supply. Uh, <laughs> uh, is in hubcaps. <laughs> hubcaps. Yeah, Pagola. The next size up is a hubcap. <laughs> Good one. Oh my gosh. I need to write that down. That needs to go in the wing nut book. That needs to go in the wing nut book. Pagola. Next size up in parentheses. Happy Planner Rings, Happy Planner Slash Arc Rings is a hubcap. <laughs> I wrote it down, Pacola. That's I'm going to go get the wingnut book in just a second. Slap that in there. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the this is the size of the arc. So like I said, I have two fibs books, a friends in the box. I got one that's about that thick. Well, probably about that thick. And then I have a thinner one that is the foodie book, the flow foodie book of paper. And uh, so I'm gonna combine the two, and um and and put it with this. Right now it's on one of this size, but I'm gonna put it on that. So yeah, that's just. <laughs> So yeah, I have I have uh, I have a I have, a whole, I have arcs in here. I forgot I bought extras. The last time I I got some arc rings, I bought extra. So let me leave that out so I can remember to do work on the 
Fid's book. Maybe we'll have time. Maybe I'll work on it today. We'll see how much time we have. After I show the books, hang on, I'm over here on the bookshelf. I want to get out my um, wing nut. So if y'all don't know, when somebody says something funny like Pecola just did, like Pecola just did, <laughs> then it, it, gets, it just gets randomly stuck in the wing nut book because, you know, we're all a bunch of wing nuts. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay so there we go um yeah so maybe i'll pull those out well let me go ahead and pull them out but i mean it's it's they're a hot mess right now wait till y'all see the hot mess i've got with them and i don't want any addresses to show so i've got to be careful of that hang on uh oh hang on me, oh oh no 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 hang on let me uh, let me look through here a second and cover up addresses. What happened here? Okay, that fell over. All right, hang on. All right, let me uh, let me get a couple post-it notes. Cover up a couple addresses. I see right here. Um, let's just take. Uh, let's turn some around. Hang on, I'll show you some of. I'll show you the hot mess I have here. Hang on, I'm flipping through to make sure no addresses show. There's one from Janet. Let's see. Let me move some of these out. Hang on, guys. I gotta get rid of some of these addresses. There's another one. Oh, that that one's faithful message. She has a P.O. box. Right, there's some addresses. One moment. We gotta go through here. <clears throat> all right so this is <laughs> y'all are gonna laugh let me put a rubber band around this hang on with the address people's addresses on the back there we go all right okay <laughs> sorry hey some big jerk uh, hi, Kathy Berg. Um, if y'all didn't, and Kathy's and Colleen will be streaming on the streamathon. I will be. Uh, here is the Google Doc. Let me post it here because I have it in my cut and paste. There's um, there's the Google Doc. If you want to have a list of the of Mary's uh, the streamathon, I will be reading out the list of the streamers starting at I think it's six thirty at Mary's channel. She goes from 6.30 to 8.30, Thursday morning, New Year's Eve, and then I stream right after. I will still do my regular stream on Wednesday, and then I'll be streaming on Thursday as well. Hi, Janet. Who else am I missing? So I'm going to read them out in just a minute, and then we're going to do a book haul. This is what Hubster and I got these books for Christmas. So these are the two. Let me see if I can get this here. These are the two. <laughs> so you see the big ring and you can see how much I've not done. See how much I've not done here? All this stuff right here. So this is the Fibs book. And then here is the Fibs. This is the Fibs foodie book. So if you're a foodie, I was going to put you in this book. I still might have to depending. So even if I put the big rings here, these remember, these are the one size down from the black rings, those big black rings. So we'll see if I can work in the fibs book today. And then I still have all this mail too to go through. So there's <laughs> lots of uh, lots of fibs fun to put together. And I just haven't had time in the last couple months, you know, with the holidays and everything. But um, yeah, we will uh, we'll get back to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me go ahead and tweet real quick. I don't like to tweet till, you know, like we're on and everything. Uh, hi, CB. Janice B. Said hi to 3G. Let me tweet real quick, guys, and I'll read you out the fibs list of streamers for the New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Okay, so let's see here. Coffee and art in the morning. Let's hashtag it book haul. Mm -hmm. 
and link in profile. Copy not in the morning. I always try to reread because, um, yeah. <laughs> If you've ever had to delete a tweet for, you know, accidentally having a autocorrect word, then uh, you'll know. Okay, so uh, if I miss saying good morning to you, thanks everybody for being here. Kathy C, Kathy B, and where's Kathy A? <laughs> we have a Kathy A, B, and C. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read you. I, I did uh, make a copy, a picture of, the, of all the streamers. And again, if y'all missed it, here is the Google Doc. Let me put it in there. Or you can go to Mary's channel, which uh, Pacola put in there a minute ago. I tried to pin it, Pacola, but I'm in StreamYard, and I don't know if I can pin it in, in, uh, in StreamYard chat. I don't think I can pin your comment in StreamYard chat. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> and some big jerk, you know, some big jerk, I've, you know, talked to you and followed you all around different places. I knew you had an IG and Instagram, which I followed. I did not know some big jerk actually had a channel. <laughs> so if you, I followed him once I figured, figured, figured that out, me and my lightning fast, fast mind figured out that some big jerk had a, a comic channel, art channel. So if y'all don't follow some big jerk, let me put his, uh, there he is right there. Go follow some big jerk. He's not a jerk. <laughs> well, some might disagree, but he's not. So go follow some big jerk. Yes, it is all day and all night. It's all day and all through the night and into New Year's Day, Jane. Okay, so let me go ahead and read them to you. Now, I'm going to read them kind of quick, but then you can go over to where I posted the uh, Google Doc and, um, and, and or go to Mary's channel. And she will have it in her community tab, from what I understand from what Pacola posted. So it starts out at 6.30 Thursday morning, December 31st at 6.30 Eastern with Mary. So that's Mary Autier, and she starts from 6.30 to 8.30. I, I, I glanced through, and I'm pretty sure everybody is two hours. Everybody has two hours stream time. If I miss, I, I'll look when I, I'll tell you, that I'll read them off. So she streams from 6.30 to 8.30. Then I'm on from 8.30 to 10.30. Now I'm going to still do my regular stream on Wednesday. So this will be on Thursday. So that'll be from 8.30 to 10.30. Then we have Scrap Chick Colleen and Kathy Berg. They come on from 10.30 to 12.30. Then there is Artist Poet Girl Jamie, APG Jamie. She's on from 12.30 to 2.30. Then Debbie Apps is on from 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. New Year's Eve, Thursday. And then there's Shauna Musen, and she is on from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Then 6.30 to 8.30 is Crafting Mama Shelly. Then from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. is Painty Girl Lori. Then from 10.30 uh, 10 to 11. Okay, so now we're into an... This one, um, Ann Lair, L-A-H-R, is only on an hour. She's on from 10.30 to 11.30 is Ann Lair. Then from 11.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. is our Janet. Um, apparently, she will be drinking. <laughs> That's her words, not mine. That's her words, not mine. So Janet comes on from 11.30 p.m. Thursday into 1.30 a.m. January 1st. Then from 1.30 to 3.30 is Joycey, able to rejoice, Joycey. She's on from 1.30 to 3.30. Now, she's on the West Coast, so that won't be too bad for her. And then hopefully some of these are, like, international, <laughs> and they're waking up and getting to stream. Then from 3.30 to 5.30, Laura's. Colors, Laura Colors 2, or Laura Colors 2, T-O-O. -O. She'll be on from 3.30 to 5.30 a.m. Then from 6, oh, then it goes, jumps to 6.30. Maybe there's a break for an hour between 5.30 and 6.30. Then from 6.30 to 8.30 is Janet Nash. Then from 8.30 a.m. New Year's Day to 10.30 is Color Me a Pink Monkey Jessica. And then from 10.30 to 12.30 is Preppy Crafty Girl Jonna. I call her Sister Woman. 
She comes on from 1030 to 1230 on New Year's Day. Then from 2 to 4, so then there's a break. From tw she, John, um, John is streaming from 1030 to 1230. Then there's a break, and Barb comes on at 2. From 2 to 4, Barb is on, on howtogetcreative.com, Barb, Barb Owen. Then from then there's another break, and then 5.30 to 7.30 is Artfully Blind with Diana, and she comes on 5.30 to 7.30. And then it goes back to Mary at 8.30 p.m., until whenever she's put there. So there you go. So that's everybody that's streaming New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Okay. So it, you can't you can't be lonely or alone on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day with all those streamers. And again, I'm going to post the link here. There is the link to the uh, Google Doc that Mary put made might have to cut and paste it. I don't know if mine's a direct link or not. You might have to copy and paste that link I just put in. But uh, Or go to Mary's channel, and in her community tab, I believe she has the Google Doc link as well. So, And in, in Mary's Google Doc links, they are direct links in her, in her Google Doc. Okay. Hi, Jesse. There's Kathy A. We're sitting, talking about Kathy A, Kathy B, and Kathy C. <laughs> Uh, okay, and so there we go. So there's what Pocola saying. The New Year's Streamathon schedule's been posted. There's Mary's channel. So go over there at, or do the Google Doc, whichever one's the same. So you can find um, find all the streamers on the Streamathon. And uh, I will post this link. May, uh, I'll post both links, Pocola, in my description box after the show. But I can't pin it in, in StreamYard. I can't pin it in StreamYard to be pinned in YouTube, if that makes if that makes any sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why what that became a popular thing to say. Mm. Okay, sip of juice. All right. So let me go ahead and show you the books Hubster and I got for Christmas with book um you know, book uh, gift cards or book, um, yeah, book money. <laughs> so this is some of the stuff that we got. Um, this is the only one I think that uh, Hubster ordered this one. And uh, thank you, Pacola. Um, Hubster uh, got uh, this. He wanted the Trader Horn book. So um, it is... Uh, Traveler Tale Classic, and it's A Young Man's Astounding Adventures in 19th Century Equatorial Africa. I don't know what year it was published, but he's he's never read this. He's read a lot of different kinds of books like this, and there's been movies made uh, back in the 40s and the 50s that were based off Trader Horn, and then I think Indiana Jones, you know, was adapted from this kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure when his adventures were or what year this book was printed. <clears throat> so, okay, copyright 1927. So it's copyright 1927. And then the new, uh, then they republished it, of course. So I'll read a couple of things of what it says. So we're just going to talk books today. If you guys want to share any books that you got with the chat, feel free. Um, feel free to talk about books that you bought or got for Christmas or the holidays and, um, and share because we all love books. Like I said, if I didn't have an art channel, I'd have a book channel. I don't have time for both. You know, people go, well, have a book channel too. I don't have time. I don't have time for a Facebook group. I don't have, you know, not and do art as well. Because I, I don't just do my YouTube channel. You know, I do my art and commissions and other art too. And I wouldn't have time. I don't have time for Facebook groups. Okay, so this is in the time of Stanley and Livingstone. A British teenager sails off to Africa to find his destiny. <coughs> Let me get in a reading voice. Here is the stuff of legend, the true story of the life of Trader Horn, a tale of thrills and danger, wild beasts, a beast down on, all right, well, let me, just, I'm going to skip over. Down on his luck in old age, Trader Horn recounts his wild youth as an ivory trader in cent Central Africa. Now, we all know we're not doing any ivory trading anymore. Don't email me. This is just what happened in history. And, um, 
So lip from liberating a uh, Escorga princess in captivity, freeing slaves and meeting Cecil Rhodes, founder of Rhodesia. Um, these are some of the things that he did in his um, adventures. An unforgettable and vivid portrait of a vanishing late 19th century Africa. So anyway, Hubster wanted to read it. So that's what he uh, bought. Thank you, Pacola. Um, okay, so then the rest of this stuff I got at um, um, Barnes & Noble. We got these yesterday when we were coming back. Went up and saw uh, Denise gave Boo her birthday money. <laughs> she, she can order whatever she wants. So Boo is all into sewing now um, and making and designing clothes. And uh, that was, that's what she did on her uh, free time with all the school lockdowns. She's in her senior year. She's in her senior year and they can't do anything. There's no proms, no, no graduations, no, none of that. So she wanted a sewing machine for Christmas. So that's what I got her, a sewing machine and a mannequin form so that she can uh, put clothes, you know, design her clothes. And let me see if I have a picture, if I can share. Let's see. So um, she has got into sewing and she's, and what she does is uh, designs them, makes them and sells them online. So once she has, gets, sends me some pictures, I'll show you some of the stuff that she's, um, there she is working on her sewing machine right there. So uh, yeah, um, she's all into the sewing now and she showed me some of the things that she designed and uh has done so <clears throat> okay tracy got a 600 page. oh I, I love that i have that i love that 600 page sketchbook tracy i love my 600 page sketchbook now did i do the challenge trying to do fill it in 30 days uh no <laughs> and tracy she got five color books <laughs> oh so let's see kathy a said I've been wanting the Alphonse book for, oh, all right. I got this at Barnes and Noble, Kathy. It was $15 marked down to $15. I have another, I have a couple of other ones that are like the, like from uh, Dover, the Dover books, the thin ones, um, you know, with some of these same color pages in it. And there's also a black and white one from Dover. So um, I know, right, Tracy? I know. And she's really good at it. She showed me some, some of her uh, work that she's done. And I mean, you can't, it's sewn so well. It's all sewn so well. Um, I mean, it's not sloppily, you know, it's very neat, very well sewn. So um, yeah, I know. So I was, uh, I was happy, happy to do that. Yeah, exactly. Any name. Uh, so, all right, well, we'll start with this one then, Kathy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How do I get too many? There we go. Click on too many things. So uh, this one is uh, was that? Let me go ahead and zoom in. Maybe one click here. There we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and pile them up so I can go through them one by one. And then if we have time, I might uh, go through the Fibs book and show you, you know, what we're what's going on there. I also got some folders for three dollars at Barnes. <laughs> That's going to be cast a shadow. Let's go over this aside. Hang on, make some room. There we go. There we go. Move it away from the ring light. There's there's my new ring light there. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to keep up with some of the book things y'all say too. Christine said, my daughter bought me a book called Nala's World, a, ma a man who rescued a cat and rides his bike around the world. Oh, my gosh. I bet that would be good. Oh, <laughs> I think that would be good. Let us know, Christine, how that is. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, you're welcome, Kathy. Okay, so Alphonse Muka, Mucha Muka. I know I never say that right. Um, but anyway, <laughs> good old Alphonse here. <laughs> so um, his masterworks. And again, I'm not sure how much this is normally. I think it's a, it's a um, Barnes and Noble book. I'm sure probably printed. Well, Flame Tree Publishing. I thought maybe it was a Barnes and Noble book. 
you know. But uh, there's the dust jacket like this. I'm not sure how much it was normally because they're not usually the the price is usually not in it when it's a Barnes and Noble book. But uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Pacola just found a link for it at Barnes and Noble. I'm not sure if it's on sale on their link on their online link. But yeah. Yes, <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. How do you say it? Mucha, Muka, Musha. You know, it's, I, I'm. I know I'm totally butchering his last name. But uh, I know, right? And you can get uh, if you don't want to get this hardback. Uh, Dover has um, different. You know, they sell the clip art books, but Dover has uh, the thinner books. I wish I would have thought to pull them out right now. I don't know where they are because I've got shelves and shelves of clip art book way before we had um, <laughs> desktop publishing and uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, our uh, PCs. Let's brighten that up a little. Okay, there we go. So I'm not going to go through every single page. This came out in 2007, but I'll show you a few of the pages. His work is stunning. Um, okay, so Annie Mame says she recalls it being something like $29.99 at some point. Okay, and good morning, Jiminy Cricket. Good to see you. Um, oh, okay. So Kathy is studying him. Okay. So um, I've read about him, but I haven't really studied him. So, uh, but I had, I think I had a calendar of, let me kind of prop this up here so we have no glare. Hang on. Uh, a calendar of his that I cut up. <laughs> cut up those calendars. But anyway, um, there we go. Uh, don't forget, Books a Million has their calendars go on sale for 50% off the first week of February. No, I'm sorry. They're, they'll be on sale before February for 50% off, but at, in the first week of February, they'll all be $3. So if you like calendars to cut up little things or tear or put in background, whatever you want to do, collage, your art journal, your mixed media, if you like the calendars, um, they are on, they go on sale, or at least they always have. I can't promise they're going to do it again this year, but they always have. Uh, Books a Million puts their calendars on sale for $3, all calendars. The large one, the small ones, your dated, your le even the little leather dated uh, journals, anything that's a calendar will go on sale for $3 the first week of February. At least that has been the history of it, so... Yeah. Okay. So I, again, I'm not going to show you every page, but I'll show you some of the. Uh, it's just stunning work. I mean, it's and it's and it even from the, you know, early 1900s. I'm not sure exactly when he started. Uh, maybe Kathy can fill us in on that. Uh, let's see. Okay. So he was from. He was born in 1860. Died in 1939. Uh, but it, it still looks so modern today, right? It looks so modern. Yeah, you love the deco style? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so anyway, uh, it's just, you know, let me kind of do a flip like this. So you can just see it, it, it just doesn't look dated at all, does it? Doesn't it just look so modern even today? So it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful book. So if you, you know, just like the, like the style, you want to practice, you want to doodle, you want to, you know, have some designs like this in your uh, art journal or your sketchbook, you never can go wrong practicing. Look at this. Oh, love that. I mean, his women are just stunning though. Look, see the designs and all? So... And everybody has seen his work in some form or another. So the, the Art Nouveau and the Art Deco periods have beautiful, stunning art. Okay, so there's that. Then um, these two, Hubster got, he got a book, and, and he's read other books. He loves history. He loves American history. And he has a whole collection of history, but he loves history. So he, this, I know he's read other books on Custer. So this one is um, from the Civil War's Boy General to the Battle of Little Bighorn. So he got this one. It's not a very big book, you know. Um, 
From West Point Maverick to Civil War hero, George Custer basked, basked in the spotlight of attention and could have re retired on his laurels. He considered political office, penned a best-selling memoir, and could have lived the rest of his life in the greatest cavalry office officer in American history. Instead, he chose to stay in the army and continue his exploits against the Indians where he met his demise while commanding the 7th Cavalry at the Battle of Little Bighorn. I just kind of condensed that. So um, there's that one. And then he got this one on John Adams under fire, the founding fathers fight for justice in the Boston massacre murder trial. So, um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I always wonder how he finds his books. And then I, I, then I always get the questions of how I find my books. I cannot wait to read this. I started browsing it um, somewhat on the uh, trip back through Atlanta after we went to the bookstore. And uh, so... I am real excited about this. These are the kind of these are my favorite kind of books. Like I, I've read the history of the compass, the hi history of tea. The history, I love the history of things, you know. And uh, so this just was right up my alley. And I'm going to read the the intro and the inside. So Seb Falk, the surprising story of medieval science, and apparently he's written a couple other things that look really good. He's a BBC. He won the one of BBC's New Generation Thinkers. He lives in Cambridge. Um, but anyway, this is this is my kind of book. So it's called The Light Ages. So let me read what it says here. Soaring Gothic cathedrals, violent crusades, the Black Death. These are the dramatic forces that shaped the medieval era. But the so-called Dark Ages also gave, up the first gave us the first universities, eyeglasses, and mechanical clocks. As medieval thinkers sought to understand the world around them, from the passing of the seasons to the stars in the sky, they came to develop a vibrant scientific culture. Now, this is where if I see Lady True North Jan, because she and I love Cadfell. <laughs> so we love our Cadfell mysteries. And um, uh, anyway, I won't get, in, get off a rabbit trail. In the Light Ages, the name of this book, Cambridge science historian Seb Falk takes us on a tour of medieval science through the eyes of one 14th century monk, John of Westwick. Born in a rural manor, educated in England's grandest monastery, and then exiled to a cliff-top priory, Westwick was an intrepid crusader, inventor, and astrologer. From the multiplying Roman numerals, from, well, let me back that up. From multiplying Roman numerals to navigating the stars, curing disease, and telling time with an ancient astrolabe, 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 we learn in emerging science alongside Westwick and travel with him through the length and breadth of England and beyond its shores. On our way, we encounter a remarkable cast of characters, the clock-building English abbot with leprosy, the French craftsman turned spy, the Persian polymath who formed the world's most advanced observatory. The light, the light ages offer a gripping store of the story of the struggle and success of an ordinary man in a precarious world and conjures a vivid picture of medieval life as we have never seen before. An enlightening history that, that argues that these times weren't so dark after all. The light ages show how medieval ideas continue to color how we see the world today. Doesn't that sound so fascinating? Oh, the, <laughs> the Pacola, she's on it, boy. She's on those Amazon links like a snapping turtle, people. But uh, but I did get it at uh, Barnes and Noble. So uh, and I just happened to walk by. It was like on a on a on a stand and I was just glanced to the side and I saw that and it was with a couple other <coughs> books that looked really good too, but I went with this one. So, um, yeah. Hi, Brian. Good to see you. There's another awesome artist. If y'all don't follow Brian, he does, uh, he does, uh, vlog talks and art, comic art and other kind of art too. 
on his uh, channel and on Instagram. So make sure if you don't follow, go follow his channel, but follow him on IG too, because he has a lot of good posts over there. So um, yeah, follow Brian Shear. Follow, uh, follow. I, I, I'm calling him our some big jerk because he's not a big jerk, but he's our some big jerk. <laughs> so anyway, got that. And then I picked up these three folders that were in the clearance table. They were uh, three for, there were three, there's three in them and they were uh, $3 for three. So it's like a dollar each, but they have a, a cool like watercolor paper feel to them. So I got these three. They're the same. They're just front and back or reverse. I think they're the same. No, this one's different. Okay. These two are the same. And this one is a little bit different, but you can tell it's off of the same print sheet. But uh, so I got those because I did order some new paper from Zandra uh, Paint and Paper Studio Scraps to Beauty. Zandra I ordered some um, more rice paper, the printed rice papers that are new. Um, you got to catch those. I mean, she may already be out of them. <laughs> but uh, and then I did order um, a ink um, stamp set with uh, pen nibs and a little inkwell and i have all kinds of inkwell stamps but i didn't have this one so <laughs> i had to get the stamp set too that should probably be in sometime this week so um yeah all right then i got this is the book i was telling y'all about i i glan I, I i did flip through every single page of this on the way home in the almost two hour drive back through Atlanta with all the traffic on yesterday. And it's um, a Tashin. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right. Tashin. I have tons of Tashin, ta Tashin, Tashin books. They're always so good. They're, and they're really not very expensive uh, considering all the information you get them. And, and if you do order any of these kind of books, uh, Tashin books off of Amazon, make sure and check the size because they do sometimes have two sizes. They'll have this size, this mini size. Let me tell you the size. They'll have these smaller sizes that are like six by eight. But then the same books have in different times been printed like eight by 10 in bigger sizes. So if I ever show you a Tashin book, Tashin book that is bigger and you, and you want good to go order it, make sure you check the size because they, they look exactly the same on a photograph. You can't tell that this is a small book when you look on Amazon. So, and I have ordered books on Amazon before thinking they were full size books and they were little mini books. So always make sure you check the sizes. Thank you, Pacola, for putting in the links. So there's, um, so Pacola's right on it. That <laughs> There's the parts of Apple. Oh my gosh. Uh, hi, Rebecca. Welcome from Be uh, Becca in Buffalo. <laughs> okay, I'll look at that later, Rebecca. Thank you. So, um, but they, they they do pack a lot of information in these little books. This one's uh, cheap, ten dollars. They're normally I'm not sure how much they are normally twenty four maybe twenty four dollars. Here's some of the different ones. I mean, they just have uh, so many, and I've got like all of these right here. They have one on uh, comic books. Like I have the fashion one, that fashion one portraits, 100 illustrations, and I've shown them before because, you know, I show them when I get them to you. But um, there's one, a thousand record albums. There's one on the circus. There's one on manga. I don't know if I don't see it here, but I saw it at uh, the bookstore. And they're all this size. And um, they're, they're usually on sale or they have them on a, not, I don't say clearance, but they're marked down. This, is, this one happened to be in the clearance section at Barnes & Noble. And uh, it's, I, I just thought this was so good. Now I did, I'm going to say I did buy it to cut up, but I don't know if I will or not, but we'll see. I did go through the whole book and it's broke out by era. So it starts with 1900 and goes through the eighties, I think. And uh, a lot of it's not in English, depending on the section. I think that's some in German, some in French. But it's all the old advertisements. That is just so awesome. Let me brighten this up just a little. There we go. 
It's uh, all old advertisements for travel from the airline industry, the hotel industry, trains, planes, and automobiles. <laughs> and uh, so it goes through, see, it breaks it out by era. And it's really a cool book, but it's just really something I'm not going to read. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit and read it like this one's it. This right here, I think that's in, uh, looks German. That's in German. And um, so half of it I couldn't read anyway. But uh, hi, Jean, Mama Four. So, yeah, I'm going to just kind of flip through just so you can kind of see some of the ads. There's Sophia Loren. But look, there's look at all these old ads. TWA. I'll try to get to some of the larger ones. Some of the larger than see that's 60 to 69. So it's all broke up by uh, every every era, every 10 years, every decade. So it has a, a, a section for every decade. But I love the old advertisements. This was in World War II. See, look at the old I mean, just it's just the art of it all, right? So I did I did go through every page of this on the two hour drive, <laughs> almost two hour uh, drive home through Atlanta. And uh, so I, I really enjoyed just looking at it. Everybody's smoking on every picture. <laughs> uh, there's one for Hawaii. So anyway, <clears throat> there you go. So that's travel. I thought it was kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, yeah, <laughs> my uh, my sister and I, we flew um, we flew to uh, Germany. I think she was, now this was back, I guess kids just flew by themselves more back then. But we flew from Texas to New York, changed planes in New York onto a military hop and flew to Germany. And she was 12 and I was 13. Or, yeah, I was going to say 11 and 12, but I think we were 12 and 13. And we flew by ourselves. So um, we had to change planes in New York. And then, uh, and we had to take a taxi to the other side of the airport. This was back in, uh, we were, you know, back, I, I won't tell how old I am. <laughs> anyway, so um, we, uh, we changed plans. We had to take a taxi to the other side of New York, uh, I guess JFK, and then flew to, uh, got on a military hop, but we had to wait nine hours. We had to wait nine hours in a hangar, she and I did to catch the military hop to Germany and then flew to Germany. So just the two of us, the two of us, that was quite the adventure. And uh, I'll tell you this one story that happened when we were in New York and we had to catch the military hop. So like I said, we waited uh, all that time in a hangar and then they got on the speaker and said, we have room for, uh, I forget how many they said, 10, 15, it could have been 20. I don't remember the number that they said. We have room for this many people. So get in line. Those people will get on this next plane. So uh, my sister and I got in line and I and, and, and mentally I was going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we would not have made it. We were two people behind. And Jody was going, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. I, I think I kind of shook her, maybe smacked her. I'm not sure. <laughs> she probably remember. I said, we're going to make it. She goes, but there's so many people. I guess we maybe were a whisper and I don't remember. She goes, there's so many people ahead of us. We're not going to make it. I said, come with me. Come on. So I took her, and I'm, I'm not sure it was the couple ahead or the couple ahead of them, but we, I, I took her by the hand, and we cut in line in between two other couples. So the couple in this front thought we were the kids of this ones. And this, these two thought we were the kids of that one. And we were the last two on that plane. <laughs> so, 
I wasn't waiting another nine hours in a hangar. So we were the last two people. Now you got to remember, this was before cell phones and, you know, mom was probably just waiting for us to get a call, getting a call from Germany that we went to visit our relatives. <laughs> anyway so we got on that plane we were on that plane and i think we were the i think we we're there 11 and 12 or 12 and 13 of course now i can't imagine putting my kids on you know or uh, you know young kids on plane by themselves just unless it was maybe an emergency a straight shot and this was i wouldn't do it during the virus but you know what i mean <laughs> so, but anyway so there's the travel book okay uh, then I got this, and I will be probably deconstructing this and put taking the ring off uh, and putting it in one of my uh, other journal. I mean, um, and again, I don't do dailies. I mean, it says diary. I don't do I don't do day by day planning. But what I do is keep track of happy mail addresses and this was my one from last year and you can see it's it's really full and everything from everything that i mail out and all you guys is um happy mail and winnings and all that and so on post-it notes i'm not going to open it because i don't want to show any addresses but this is what i've used so i'm going to clean this out and i'll probably take the rings off of this and if i need to punch some holes i'll probably use this in one of these kind of planners because this works for me for um the fibs you know for um mail keeping track of who won stuff uh keeping track of all the the post you know the postage stuff you know all that so um that's what i'll we'll use for this plus you know we love our daphne's diary and it's just so cute and the extras and the inserts and the tear aparts and all that well, they didn't then, Annie May. Maybe they do now. <laughs> they didn't back then. And uh, they did them back then in the 70s. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. But uh, so it has a place for your name, your address, and your email, and all that. It's really a cute book if you are a, a planner where you do write down your dailies or, you know, and again, if you have kids in school, if you have to manage homeschooling your job and schedules and zoom meetings and you have to do all that then this is a the kind of thing i don't have to do all that all i come here to do is entertain you guys and do my art <laughs> you know, so uh and and do the happy mail and stuff but um i wanted to show it to you in case you did like um you know this kind of thing so you can schedule i don't even schedule you know i know what days i stream i don't have to write that down um, I try to save, I try to download some of my favorite, uh, streams that I've done. <clears throat> like if I've done big collage posters or I've done some abandoned, um, places collaging that I love, I'll try to save and download. Everybody should do that. If you have a YouTube channel, you never know. Just saying, if you want to keep those videos, uh, for posterity or just for your own, uh, you know, collection of your videos. I've got over a thousand. I'm not downloading every one, but you might want to download a few if you, uh, you know, if you like your videos or like a particular ones, you might want to download um, onto your computer, put them on a hard external hard drive, put them on thumb drive, keep them, whatever you want to do. But you might want to save some of your YouTube videos. You never know what will happen, you know, if you want to, if you want to keep them. Because, I mean, back when we did Ustream, because I've been streaming 10 years, and my first uh, four or five years was all on Ustream. Then I started uploading those onto YouTube. And then since then, I've been streaming on YouTube, which I've been doing all total for 10 years. But at the beginning, when we were all streaming on Ustream, all of a sudden, uh, IBM, I don't know if they owned it originally or they bought it out. But anyway, they said, okay, well, we're going to go business now. We're not going to do just like free streamers. And, and again, who knows what it is now? I've not checked on it in five, six years. So I don't know what their situation is now, who streams on it or what, you know. But and there's still Twitch, um, you know. So there's different platforms. But anyway, so... Um, so they told us you have, I think it was two months. Maybe somebody here remembers. You have two months to save your videos. 
Come on in, honey. What's up? You heading out? Yeah, I um, they said they couldn't do your tires today. Well, they said they could, but not till about two o'clock. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so run down and get my tire washed. Okay. Maximus. <laughs> okay. And did you talk about any of your books? Oh, yeah, I've shown all but these two here. So, uh, here, I'll give you yours back. I talked about yours. And so you're going to have to come on the show some after you read them and talk about them. Okay. We're going to have to Especially to Tom Horn. That would be an interesting one. Trader so, Horn. I mean, sorry, Trader Horn. <laughs> I get Tom Horn with the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Come See you after. I love you too. Right. And uh, I know everybody's still wanting to, uh, for us to do um, how to play uh, Liverpool Gin Rummy. So maybe we could do that sometime if, while you're off. I don't know. Okay. Maybe Wednesday we'll do a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wednesday would be good because okay. Thursday I do my streamathon and I've got to do a project. Hey, ladies and guys, <laughs> Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Aw, thanks, honey. All right. All right, see you after a while. Um, so let me see what what was I talking about? <laughs> I totally forgot what I was talking about. Uh, oh, Ustream, Ustream. So um, anyway. That's you have your effect on women. <laughs> so, uh, so what we were all doing is scrambling to download and save our videos that we wanted to save. I got me re immediately got me an external hard drive, started downloading and saving my videos. And now, if I would look back, I would not have saved all the ones I saved. But we were all scrambling to try to save our videos because they were going to start charging you. I think it kind of came out to, depending on how many hours you stream, it was like $100 a month. It was like $100 a month to use Ustream for just a, like a norm, you know, like a normal people, you know, not, we're not, you know, IBM, right? We're not a NASA. I think NASA was one of their biggest and maybe still is one of their biggest streamers at the time, at the time. I don't know what's going on over at Ustream anymore. So yeah, yes, <laughs> So anyway, my point is you just never know, guys. You, If you want to save your YouTube videos or whatever platform you're streaming on, you know, if you want to save some of those, you, bet, you might want to think about doing it. I miss Lulu. Anybody else I'm missing? Thank you. Good to, I'm glad you could catch us live. Thanks for stopping in. So, um, yeah, he's already gone, Jen. And Jen goes, hey, bud. <laughs> he's already gone. Um, uh, let's see. Annie Mae says, do you or anyone else using the Daphne Planner? What do you use the little daily? You mean these? This is like an hourly schedule. You're talking about this? This is broke down, I think, in, is it broke down in days? No, I guess it's, well, you know what? Uh, I see what you're saying. I hadn't really looked this part over. I would not be using this anyway. <laughs> Annie Mae, this part. But um, it's broke down for one thing a day you could probably uh like if you have uh, a zoom class you could just write it in just like the main thing of the day this is like for a main overview if you go on a vacation or if you have some big thing that's like one thing a day but then they break it down over here you know for um you know monthly you know, as you can see here, and then they do a weekly, but I love the art of it. You know, I love all the art in it. Uh, so you have, here's your monthly calendar. So, you know, they just, maybe it's just an overview of the month there, Annie Main. This is more what you would use, right? This and the weekly. And again, I would be using it to, uh, if I sent out happy mail on that day, I'll put the names of the people that I sent out the happy mail, that kind of thing. Right now, I keep them on post-it notes, and I still may, depending on how busy I get. If I'm writing down who I'm sending uh, winnings out that week, that may end up happening. Yeah, you know, it doesn't bother me. But if I, you know, really want to be neat about it, <laughs> I would write it on these pages. But uh, so we'll see. But that's what I got this for is for next year's uh, keeping track of mail, mostly keeping track of my happy mail for the most part. That's really the only thing I have to keep track of. If we have a doctor appointment, I, you know, vision appointments, that goes on my calendar downstairs on my refrigerator. You know, that kind of thing. I don't put that kind of stuff in a little book because I won't go back. I know myself. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, there you have Julie. Julie says her most useless purchase was the 2020 planner. <laughs> but you know what? If you had little kids and you had to track and keep track of all their schoolwork and Zoom and homeschooling and you know, what days they could go to school, what days they can. I bought Boo a planner like the other one I showed you, the leather one. You know, well, it's leatherette. It's not leather. It's, you know, but I got her one of those kind of planners, you know, from Hobby Lobby or whatever. And she uses it all the time. She has to keep track. She's in her senior year. You know, she has to keep track of all that. And um, so, yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Let me kind of. Let me bring it up here. So then they have the little uh, inserts in every week, a thing, to, or maybe it's just every month or the beginning of the month. Things to buy, things to do. Just a little little uh, list thing at the beginning of every month. And then they have the, oh, no, I guess they have it at every week. They have it in between every week. So that's why they cut it like this so that you can, it covers the, the full, well, the full week because it's double seven days this is here's your one week and then they give you a list in between for that whole week and so it's it's in between everyone but i love the art of it the little you know the little they put little cards and inserts there's february and uh if you all have any questions or anything put it in caps would you use anything in there in, that's what i was just saying i would use it donna for my uh, tracking and keeping track of my happy mail as far as dates go. Yeah. <clears throat> I would, you know, if I have something this week that I'm going to the post office tracking and then I'll tape in my uh, post office receipt. I'll, I'll, I would now I'll probably tape it on the, maybe the back of this. And I don't know that I'll put every single page in there because I really want to deconstruct this and put it in here. Let me get my book back over here in this. This is the one I used last year. See, so if I de if I deconstructed this, either punched holes or I don't know yet, but that's that was my plan. Is for this my my uh, keeping track of my um, mail. So yeah, it's really cute. And then they have um, they have little cards in here, little postcards, just little you know tear outs. Something like, you know, things that Flow Magazine and Daphne's Diary are known for. And uh, look, a little bullet journal, how do you feel? And you can put the, by the color. <laughs> That's kind of a clever little thing. I don't do that because this, this, I would, uh, I'd be, I'd be this if I had to keep track of this. <laughs> if I had to keep track of this every day, this would be me. <laughs> I just don't, I don't do that. But nothing wrong with them. People do it all the time. They they track their water intake, their, you know, all kinds of health things. They're walking, they're, um, you know, running or exercise, all that, you know. So, um, it, but it's just such a cute little journal, you know. We, we get it. They get us on the cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there you go, Carla. Or yeah, if you're in, in, you know, you're off, you know, you got to go to work in your office or if you're working from home and you got to keep track of stuff. Here's look, there's a water tracker. You know, so there's just little things like that all in here. So, and again, one of these little things to buy, things to do every week. That's in between every page. So here's May. And it's just so pretty. It's eye candy, right? It's eye candy. Okay, so you bought the Marshall. Yeah, I love I've loved Marshall Bastine. I have her books, her hardback books, her planners, her calendars, her little mini books. And uh, she used to sell cards at Hall. She used to be a Hallmark artist, Hallmark card artist, and calendars and books via Hallmark uh, stores. Uh, my Hallmark store closed down years ago. I don't, maybe there's still Hallmark stores. I don't know. I, I haven't seen one for forever. Mom, I have to ask mom if she still has one because she used to go to Hallmark store all the time. But um, anyway, Marshall used to be one of their uh, premier uh, artists probably 20 years ago. I still have her books. So, yeah, just little, 
So I don't know if I want to show you every single month. But here's another how you feel tracker thing. Um, and again, in between every page, I'm kind of skipping through here. There's a little thing you can color. Here's some little uh, stickers, little, little drink stickers. Everybody's probably using those this year. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Um, top 10 movies. Uh, and they're little tickets. Little, you can write your you know favorite movies. Little ticket stubs. So. August. And again, they got uh, a monthly and then it broke out weekly. Uh, let's see. Let's see what other little extras they have here. <clears throat> September. And again, they have little. And here's little uh, cameras. Just so, so. Uh, and the thing is, is at the end of the year, it, unless it's something you have to keep track of, if you had to keep track of what happened on this week, I transfer over birthdays and stuff into the next calendar because I do keep track of, you know, some birthdays and stuff like that. Um, but then you could use, you could cut things out and use them in your journals. Here's another couple of uh, postcards. Here's October. And again, they all flip out. 30 days of walking. There's another pages. So yeah, it's it's just you know it's a it's pretty, you know. <laughs> Some more stickers. So yeah, and it came with the little um, bookmark and little tag on it. This was stuck in the spiral. It was stuck down in the spiral when you buy it, but you just take it out and you can use it. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, no other questions or anything. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks to the lurkers. Um, all right, then the last thing I got here to show you was the Art Journaling Magazine, which is put out by Stampington. Let me see, I'm sitting on my foot. It's going to sleep. Uh, put out by Stampington. And uh, the same people that put out Somerset Studio, the art journaling one. I think it's bi-monthly. Let's see. January, February. Okay. It's, uh, maybe it's quarterly. I think it's quarterly. So, um, yeah. It used to, it, for a while, when they first came out, it was twice a year. So, all right. So, I'm going to show you some of this. If you all have any questions. The two flashed out. Are we good? Maybe I need to zoom in. Maybe I should have zoomed in a little bit more earlier. But, uh, yeah. So what I like about the art journaling one is they um, they interview the artist and they ask them different things like what kind of products do you like? What do you use? What do you? What kind of tips do you have? Like for instance, this one's um, uh, the the artist here, Carol A. Moore. Her tips, she has her article, then she has her tips. Select any three and nag, and nag, oh, and oh, I can't say it. Anogalous colors. <laughs> Some words give me to twist it, tongue tied. Next to each other on the color wheel. Let me see. Uh, I thought I had a color wheel handy. But anyway, the three colors next to each other on the color wheel. And use a soft dry brush and rub them into a dry surface for a dreamy effect. So that's one of her tips. So they, you know, should have tips. And then the next artist will have either tips or answer questions. Well, there's tips on that one too. One, and they usually have three to four little tips. This one, the first tip she says is make handmade stencils by cutting up a file folder. Use spray paint. Um, so they're all, you know, it's all art journaling. It's all art journaling. Uh, here's N N Nicolette. Nicolette must have supplies. So she has her list of supplies. And then in between, they'll have things, they'll have questions. Okay. Oh, my tongue. I'll count. There you go, Abigail. 
Uh, well, our calendars, like I said, here at uh, Barn, uh, Books A Million, uh, Barnes & Noble, I think they, they only go like to 50% on their calendars. But Books A Million, the first week in February, at least they always have up till now, the first week of February, all calendars are $3. And that's when I stock up every year. Um, so let's see. Textures more tips by this artist. Every artist has a tip. And then they have in, in, somewhere in between here, they'll have uh, questions. Like what um, What do you recommend for, I'll have to see where to find one here. And I haven't looked through this one, so I'm guessing they still have it. Right now, they're just tips by each artist. And uh, this seems to be a, a focus on textures. Okay, here it is. We asked the artist. What is your best tip for keeping your many art journaling supplies organized? And then each one of the artists that are featured in the magazine answer that question. So let's pick one here. Um, Donna Smith Laka Laka says, I store all of my cardstock paper pads in a banker's boxes along with labeled folders. All the other supplies go in my art carousels, you know, carousels which are available at Michael's. I love those carousels, but they they take up too much space. I don't have room for the art carousels on my desk. Um, that's why I did my build. I built me a pen and pencil and paint holder right here out of foam core, out of black foam core board. And I cut it up and used packing tape to build it. So it's packing tape and foam core board. And then I have one big um, box from some of my markers. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move the things here so you can see. Okay, don't anybody get dizzy. Don't email me. All right, so here we go. So right here, oh, there we go. Oh, I gotta back up. Hang on, let me back up my camera. So I'm way too close. Okay, there we go. So and that's there's my PO box. That's just mine. So all right, so here we are right here. There's my ring light. There's my computer, and there's my microphone. And then this right here, I built that out of out of foam core and it goes all the way down there and then that box right there where's my finger that box right there are my water-based markers and my big pens so and then it goes over there so yeah so here's my uh, this is my i built it out of uh foam board and um packing tape all right so let's see here guys let me put y'all back up on my yardstick because I stream, I stream off of a yardstick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's zoom back in. There you go. <clears throat> Hi, Dar. You have rows of coffee cups for your tools. Yeah, I use coffee cups or those type of things for like my. I have one for my scissors. Like here, so you got one for my scissors, and then I have I have a lot of my um, paint brushes. My paint brushes are in coffee cups and mugs and those kind of ceramic things, you know. Um, I can't reach it right; it's behind my ring light. But my um, paint brushes are all in coffee cups. Uh, SBJ, yeah. <laughs> well, I have been in this studio for twenty years. Uh, and this is the longest I've lived anywhere in my entire life because uh, I grew up in the military, Hubsters, retired military. And uh, yeah, uh, if I have to downsize from this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but anyway, so uh, let me see. Let me straighten out my camera there. But I've been in the same studio for 20 years. So it does accumulate after 20 years and streaming for 10 years. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Janet says she <laughs> overboard on paintbrushes and now needs a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, let's read one more. Um, well, this is a good tip if you can do it. And Carol A. Moore says, commit to sorting all your art journaling supplies every quarter. You'll be amazed at what turns up. And since we are learning new t techniques constantly, forgotten supplies turn into a lucky find. 
And uh, yeah, so, but anyway, so that's one of the questions that all the artists from the um, book answer. Uh, so more, you know, just different artists, different, their different techniques. And uh, my creative obsession. Um, and then again, tips. So I'm just going to do a little flip through and I'll see what the other questions are. This one seems to be a lot on texture. And I do try to buy most of the art journaling ones. I don't buy every Somerset Studio one every more anymore. Because, you know, I've, I've bought Somerset Studio and the art journaling one. Now, the art journaling one's fairly new, comparatively speaking. I think Somerset Studio started in 1992 two or three and I had all of them and then I started downsizing some of those but so I for the past maybe four or five years I have not bought every issue of Somerset Studio because then they start to become you know it's a whole nother generation doing the same um, techniques that we were doing 20 years ago and they're just kind of redoing, you know, doing them again. And so a lot of them are this, kind of the same. So I flip through them at the store. And if I see that they're just like totally, I've seen it before. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But I'm not going to spend, you know, the money on a magazine where I see it all the same all the time. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, mason jars are good too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the I like my build because all my pens lay on their sides. Now my um, these right here, my uh, super tips, they're only one sided. They all stay like this in the in the box that I have right there. Um, so my super tips stay like this. But all my other uh, alcohol markers, you know, my Copics and my color pencils, and you know all the other pens, they, they all lay on their side for the most part. They're all on their sides. <clears throat> okay, okay. Get your tea, Bacola. Hi, Scooby. So this is kind of cute. L look, a little shell book. So it looks like they took the actual shell and made it into, a, they put a little, a little book inside. That's really cute. I'm not sure exactly how they make sure that the spine held or how they're doing that but that's why you read it you know that's why you read the techniques uh, postcards and you know there's just so much that you can get out of things like this whether you're an art journal or a mixed media a collage artist excuse me now I'm going to get the hiccups let me take a sip of juice um You'll get so many tips, techniques, and whatever, you know, whatever uh, medium you're using, you can try new things. Uh, and they used to have a section in in here. It was either in here or in the Somerset on calligraphy. They used to have a, 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 a calligraphy section that I loved when they did that. I, maybe they still do it occasionally. I don't know that they do it every time. And then here's another We Ask the Artist. What is your advice for overcoming intimidation of a new technique or supply? Let's just read one. I haven't read these yet. Kristen Peterson says, my best way to overcome intimidation of a new technique is just to hop in and try it. Now, that is not to say that everything turns out how or that how it looks is supposed to. I have tried many new techniques that did not turn out right, but I've tried something else with that technique and learned I really liked it. Experimenting play is the path to new discoveries. Uh, here's another one. Chris Tesner. I am no longer intimidated to try anything new. I go in with flying paint and scissors cutting. I adapt new things to my way of working, but always come out better than before with a new arsenal. So again, they all answered that question. So, yeah, um, there's just, you know, it's inspiration. I mean, you can't say, well, I don't know what to do and open a book like this and then come away not knowing what to do. <laughs> you're going to you're going to think come up with something, you know, uh, and that's why I tell you all to keep your society of idea collector notebook, whether it's a comp book, a three ring binder, a travelers, whatever you do to keep your ideas in post-it notes, you know, whatever you do, um, 
to keep your ideas. When you have an idea, if you don't write it down, you can almost certainly say it's gone because you're not going to remember the hundreds of ideas that you might have during a day. Uh, some of them might be similar or connected to the previous idea. But if you don't write something down to keep track of your ideas, regardless of what medium in your art, music, writing, poetry, drawing, sketching, painting, uh, you know, whatever it is that you do, if you don't write your ideas down, they're going to be gone. That's why I'm big on the Society of Idea Collectors. <laughs> Collector ideas. Okay, here's something right here. Sometimes when staring at a blank page, we need a little help moving past. Okay, so these are prompts. These are inspiration prompts here. Quotes, uh, different quotes, and uh, to give you some, uh, you know, uh, inspiration. So there's that. So yeah, that is the uh, January, February, March edition of Art Journaling. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Somerset Studio is, at, is two months, uh, you know, six times a year, bi-monthly. So those are all the books that me and Hubster got yesterday at Barnes & Noble. I'm looking around, see if there's anything else that... Um, I think that's it for now as far as books. But I wanted to share those with you because, like I said, I love my books. I love my books. Okay, so... Um, now, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to try to be careful not to you know, show any addresses or anything. But so I've got two different books that I'm using for the fifth. Let me take out all this here. So <laughs> this is all the stuff that that uh, new fibs that need to be added to my fibs book. I don't know if fibs is friends in the box. So here's my friends in the box book. Um, planner book whatever it's a it's a happy planner book but i don't use it as a planner uh, and what i've done is i'll cut my own i'll punch my own holes and what i don't know if y'all want to see me take it y'all want to see me take it apart and redo it with the new uh with the larger rings one two three four five six, i think it's nine two four six eight, yeah nine the larger happy planners have 11 have 11 rings but this one I'll need nine. So what I want to try to do is take this apart and reconstruct it with the bigger ring. So again, let me show you. The rings that are in here now are this size, and I want to put this size. This is the ARC system that you get in um, office uh, supply stores. These are the Happy Planner rings that you get in the craft stores. These are much cheaper. They're not as pretty. They're all black. There's no colors <laughs> in the ARC planners. <laughs> at least that I've seen. My um, office depot only sells the black ones. But see how much bigger they are? So that means you can get a thicker book. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. And thank you again, Pacola. So um, there is, if you want to go to Mary's channel in the community tab to find out everybody that's streaming New Year's Eve starting with Mary at 6.30 a.m. Eastern on her channel. Then she's streaming from 6.30 to 8.30. This is Thursday morning. Then I come on from 8.30 to 10.30 and so on. And also here is the Google Doc, which she'll pay, she has also put in, uh, I'm sure, on her channel. But there is the Google Doc if you want uh, direct links to everybody that's streaming throughout New Year's Eve day, overnight, and all day New Year's Day. So I think there's 18 streamers. Mary streams at the very beginning, the very end. So I think there's 18 streamers all total. Uh, well, 17, if you count Mary twice, it's 18. So, um, and most of them are two hours. There's a couple in there I saw that are streaming only one hour. And there are a couple of breaks in between on New Year's Day. A, a, you know, an hour here or there. So, but I read them all earlier. Uh, read them all off earlier. So, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, find your scavenger hunt list. Okay, so I think Janet is going to post her, uh, tell her, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Janet can correct me, but I think Janet is going to uh, give you her scavenger hunt list on 
New Year's? Is that what you're going to do, Janet? <clears throat> Last I heard, she could, you know, I got I might have that wrong. So we'll wait here and see what Janet says. Janet's going to do a scavenger hunt. You have to find a hundred things to complete the scavenger hunt. And this year she's tried to make it where everything you find can be found in your house. If you do not find the scavenger hunt item she recommends you find, the hundred things, you can draw it. So let's just say she tells you a postage stamp. And you can't, for whatever reason, find a postage stamp in your house. You can draw a faux postage stamp. So you can draw the item if you can't find the item. So you really have no excuse. And she doesn't care how well it's drawn. It can be a doodle. It can be a whatever. But you can draw it if you don't have it. Okay, so she says she's going to have the Google Doc ready on the New Year's, a New York New Year Eve streamathon. So, and Janet streams right after me today at one. Well, I usually get done 11, between 11 and 12, but Janet comes on at one Eastern and she says she's going to have some of it read, uh, read some of it today. So uh, if you want to go to Janet stream at one. Okay. And uh, yeah, Janet says, I'm not big on rules. <laughs> as long as you have the hundred things, if you've drawn it, try to find it, uh, then she's going to everybody that completed it. Um, she will throw into a random.org and I think she's going to do a giveaway for, uh, everybody that completed it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the ring. So again, these are the two sizes. This is the size that I have right now in here. And this is, you know, just so much bigger. I can make this bigger. So if y'all want to watch me deconstruct this, put it on these rings. Um, and, and I'll show you what I've got done in here. I've not worked in this in some months, guys. As you can see, this is all the stuff that, this is all the stuff that needs to be, not necessarily everything here added to it. There's envelopes and cards and I'll take them apart. But these are the people that need to be added. These are all the people that need to be added to the Fibs book, Friends in the Box. And uh, then also, I don't think, I don't, I'm not expecting me to get the um, Xander order by, you know, Wednesday, which is the next time I stream. And then Thursday, I will have, um, you know, I have a project planned for Thursday. So my Xander order, I'll try to keep those papers. I got some new rice papers, some 12 by 12 papers from her scraps, um, from her paint and paper studio store. And uh, so I'll try to wait to use those <laughs> and wait till next week so I can show you what I bought at Zandra's store. So that'll, that'll be coming up probably next Monday. I should have everything by Monday. And uh, then I can show you uh, what I bought from Zandra. I always like to promote Zandra's store, uh, paintandpaperstudio.com. And uh, she always has great prices. She always has, I think, 10%, 15%. I forget what it is. She's always a discount. And she always has uh, odd things, unusual things, pretty papers from uh, Italy, Australia, and uh, individual papers. You can buy the rice papers and stamperia and different kind of papers. And I love, I always buy those new papers from Zandra. So if you want to see those coming up, uh, I'll probably do that next week. Okay. So uh, let me just, and I, I use headbands. If you have journals that are big, if you don't have any kind of planner belly band things, headbands work good for, um, uh, you know, you can either put them this way, depending on how fat your book is. <laughs> I usually use them this way. And, uh, but this one's really chunky. So I had it this way so I could tuck in all of all of this stuff right that I need to go through and reorganize this so if y'all want to see what I'm gonna do let me get out nine of the disc two four five six seven eight nine I forgot that I bought extras the last time I was at the office uh, supply store I bought extras because sometimes they are out but um, four six eight nine yeah so i bought an extra set because i did redo one of my other journals with these because it was getting so chunky uh 
So I'll take these out. And my plan was, is, was to have two different books. This one is the flow book for paper lovers that I was starting to do a um, fibs book a separate fibs book for the foodies, the, the fibs that are foodies. Um, but I don't know that I, I think I might just incorporate them both and use the pages. If you're a, if you're a foodie, then I'll use one of these pages to put in this book. But I know me, I'm not going to want to keep up with two separate books for fibs. Um, I know it's going to get chunky in this one alone, but there's a lot of blank pages in here. See, this is this all back here is mostly blank pages ready to be used, right? So this is ready to be used. Plus, I have some other things in here. Look, I have uh, post-it notes and some other things tucked in here. This all can come out. So let's just take all this out for now. There's an extra couple cards and some little post-it notes and some other things. This isn't really fibs material it's just like decorations and stuff so this doesn't have to be in this book and right there that already knocks it down a big chunk right <laughs> okay mm -mm. two four six eight nine. all right so i'm gonna set this one aside for a minute i might have one or two people in here already but i'll just take their pages out and add them to this book and then i'm not sure what i'll do with this I might just use the papers. I might deconstruct this, put a rubber band around this, and then just use it uh, as I go, you know, just pull from this, pull from this to put in other journals and stop being a, just stop this from being a journal, but we'll see. So I'm going to set that aside for now. And what we're going to do is deconstruct this one and um, put them on this, on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the, and uh, here's some of my, these are postcards from the High Museum. These were Finster. Um, he is a folk artist from Georgia, and he's pe since passed away. But he um, was one of our f famous uh, local folk artist artists in Georgia. And these are some of his postcards. Again, this does not have to be in this book. So I'm going to move that over to my, I'm going to take this paper clip off. And I'm going to really like break it down. We're going to break it down. All right. So here we got like, again, these are just some, I got my business card, some other things. This doesn't have to be in the cover. Okay. So here we go. YouTube Fibs yearbook. So that's what, this is all the, the Fibs. And again, there's probably more in here than there is in here because I haven't worked in it in some time. So again, FIB stands for Friends in the Box. And uh, and I started this at the beginning, I think, of last year, where what I wanted to do was make a page. And a couple of people have two pages because that was when I was first starting it. Um, have two pages, double page spread, with either their business card, their YouTube channel, you know, something that they do or known for. And so if you have a business card or a postcard or your YouTube channel name, you know, that's the kind of thing I want to put in here. I can't put, there's a couple people I think that I have a um, greeting card in here, but I can't put greeting cards in here because it's going to bulk it up. It's already bulky, right? I'm not going to be able to bulk it up more with cards. So it has to be thin things. Okay, Scoobs, good to see you. <laughs> okay later gator <laughs> good to see you scoobs and i hope you had a good christmas i hope you had a good christmas uh scoobs okay sip of juice here so all right so i'm gonna start by putting putting a new um ring on each on the cover here and it's a little awkward when you first build it because it's kind of floppy. Even if you start with the cover, uh, it's a little, you can see it's a, they're a little floppy until you start getting things in it. I'll put the back cover on as well. And then that should kind of stabilize it so you can um, start working. But look, look how much bigger that is than that. Well, let's see if I can get this. To stand up. See how much more I can get on that? Look how fat those rings are. But the happy plant are the pretty colorful rings that come in, you know, rose gold, silver, you know, all these pretty, all these pretty colors. The, the, the biggest, this is the biggest size. 
So if I want more to fit in here, I'm going to have to go with the arc system, the arc discs with a, just come in black as far as I know. But I want it chunk if I want it chunkier. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the back cover. And let's put that on here. And this is just an old Happy Planner covers that I'm using for the friends in the box. So if you, you know, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you have a lot of uh, online friends or YouTube friends or, and you can make this if you just want to keep track of your YouTube friends or your online friends, friends in the box, then this is kind of a, a good idea. It doesn't have to be this chunky, you know, uh, if you don't have that many people. Hi, Julia O, Julia O, Julia Omix, Omix, Julia Omix, hello, Devin, good morning, Devin, hey, Kenny, good to see you, there's Kenny, I'm sure I'm missing people coming in, welcome, Kenny, <laughs> all right, so there we go, so now I've got them all attached like that. <laughs> so now what I need to do is just start taking pages out and I'm going to kind of try to look at the pages and I have a, like I said, I have a lot of, and I'm going to just take out three or four at a time because if you start trying to rip out, you know, like remove more than a couple of pages at a time, you're going to, you're going to jack up the, you know, you're going to tear these. So, you know, be careful with them, but I'll show you what I've, I've got going on here. So, um, you know, here's like, this is a page that I just punched myself because I do have the punch. So uh, if you want to, um, you know, make it cut, cut down and punch your own papers, I would recommend you getting a happy planner punch or the arc system, which is just a black punch. The happy planner ones, I think they come in teal and pink and white and they're pretty, but they do the exact same thing as the black arc one. They all punch the exact same space. So if you want to, um, you know, get a cheaper punch, you can get the arc system one. And they just fit right back in your, in your rings just like that. But, you know, if you, if you keep taking them in and out all the time, you are going to wear out the, you're going to wear them out. Okay, so again, I have, here's a few more papers that I've uh, punched myself. So I'm going to take out three or four at a time. Now this may get monotonous. If you're lurking, <laughs> I don't blame you. If you don't want to sit and watch me do this, but I'm going to talk about the fibs as I come across them in the book. And, um, and you know, that's what I always like to do. Anyway, I like to promote people. Now this is going to annoy me because there's a glare. So I'm going to have to put something here. Let's go to the back page here. Let's go to the back page here. And somebody sent me a couple of cat uh, cards that look like uh, Oliver and Malibu. I'm going to put this in the back page here so that it gets rid of that glare. Because where my ring light is right there. So let me put a matte page in here so there's not a plastic shine. So there we go. Get rid of the shine. Oh, that's still... There we go. All right, we'll move it right there. <laughs> and uh, so then I added some dividers. And that's another thing that I would like to do is add dividers for all the fibs. Let me go ahead and bring, all right, I'm going to take a little bit of a rabbit trail here. All right, y'all want to see my original fibs book? My original 100 people back from Ustream days. A comp, one composition book will hold 100 people. So if you don't want to do a ring bound, I can show you what you can do. <laughs> Let me see if I can reach it here. It's up on my shelf. And I call, I call this book Fluffette. It's Fluffy, and her name is Fluffette. This is Fluffette. This is one composition book with, covered with scrapbook papers, one composition book with tabs for everybody's name. There's 100 people in here. And this one, it was over some years, but uh, this is Fluffette. So this was my original Fibs book with their favorite colors, your favorite, you know, animals, your favorite uh, tools, your favorite art. And as you can see, there's the people's names on here uh, from the original 100 people. 
Um, let me, I'm going to go ahead and read these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Artie Dar is in here. And I might miss some people because I might miss a tab or something. But if I do and you're in here, don't get your feelings hurt. Okay. So I had, uh, this was from, this was from 2011. This is from 2011. Okay. So Queen Die, Shirley Sunny, Sunny Shirley. Uh, there's a couple that there's no name on that tab. Okay, so let me keep going. Uh, Papercraft Judy. Uh, let's see. Lynn. Sunny. I said Sunny Shirley. Uh, Lori Bear. Joycey. Artie Dar. So here's Artie Dar. Since she's here right now, I don't make sure there's no addresses showing. But like here at Artie Dar, her favorite colors, her some of her business cards and her little cards. This is all stuff from Artie Dar. And it's not attached. See, it's loose. But because it's in a comp book, it's not a ring bound. Everything could just still fit in here. Here's some of her art there. There's Artie Dar. That's from 2010. Here she is here. There's Artie Dar 2010. And uh, so anyway, she's here. So that's why we stopped. There's Laurel. And I would do pages. I would do the colors that there was their favorite colors. And... Um, and just, you know, and if there was a, like, here was her collage. I think this, yeah, this was a collage I did for Laurel. Now it was eight by 10 and everybody got their original collage. So, but I took photographs and printed out the collage that I did based on their preferences, their favorites, what they did, what they like. And so we did many, many, many of these back in the day. And uh, then I would just try to print off. I did, I did get a copy of everybody. But I printed off, um, There's this is when I did um, one of Laurel's cat portraits there. And we would ask them all these questions. And I would, and I would, we would write them down. So as they called off their favorite everything, I would write it down on a piece of paper while at the same time I was working on making a collage. So it was like a work going, like, People were calling out, oh, her favorite colors is this, her favorite animals is this. And we would be working on the collage at the same time that we were getting the answers to the questions. Okay, so anyway, Laurel, Jelly, um, J. Katz, Vicky BR, Vicky BR, uh, Lynn, Dreamer B, Bren, Cherry Pie Sharon, Barb Owen, Claire. Here's one of Claire. There's Claire. Claire used to do belly dancing. So I have, a, this is the collage I did for her. And again, they all got the original collages. So I, I would mail them off. Okay. Uh, Packer Die. There's Packer Die's collage. Uh, 80s Child MTV. <laughs> Deb PA. I Carry Love. Fiona. Fran. Tara. Felicia. Karen Cap, Mel. Happy Die, Gina, Dale, and we, we lost our Dale. Oh, that's not her. This is it. We lost Dale a few years ago. Darcy UK, Graf Cat, Susan Ribbons, Nikki, Julie 2, IMJ, Kara, um, APG Jamie, Jordan, Music Scrap Jean. There's Julie Topaz. So here's Julie Topaz's page. And she still had this frame. Last time I saw her house, she showed her bookshelf. She still had this frame in her house. Julie Topaz. Ketsia. Linda White Holloway. Morgan. Judy Foster. I know I'm, I'm skipping a couple people here, guys. Some of the tabs have not are gone. Lori Activity. Jen Oz. There's Jen, Jen Oz's collage was made out of puzzle pieces. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Julia, Michelle W, Mary D, MB, Paula, Key Margo, Mitzi, Mrs. Rose. And I haven't heard from Miss Rose. Miss Rose, has anybody heard from Miss Rose in forever? Miss Rose and her husband were retired book. Um, store owners in New York and um, they stopped their bookstore and started selling um, online and she was always my Nefertiti she was like my Nefertiti book 
lady. Anyway, so her collage was a double page spread and it was a book. So I took an old book and made the inside of the book cover was her collage. She was my Nefertiti. I haven't heard from Miss Rose forever. Has anybody heard from Miss Rose? Um, Rachel, um, P. Sandy, Tammy O, Sandy Pink, Sherry Pink, Vicky P, Larkspur Vicky, Colleen. Colleen's still around. There's Colleen. There's Colleen's uh, scrap chick, Colleen's collage right there. She's our hippie chick. Um, let's see, Amy, Blade, <laughs> and uh, Blade is artistic biker. His was a funny story. When we were doing his collage, we did a secret one. So we had him in private message and nobody nobody knew who the person was going to be for that day when we made this collage. And uh, so we would ask the questions. And as they were as the person was answering the question, they were like our mystery guest. So Blade, artistic biker Jonathan, was our mystery guest. <laughs> and um, so anyway, they would ask a question like, well, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Uh, I don't know, medium or something. And he would say leather <laughs> or something like that. So they guessed him really fast. They guessed artistic biker, but we did him as uh, uh, there's the Blues Brothers, Arnold. I'll be back. And so anyway, Blade was uh, one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, friend, at FIB stands for Friends in the Box. Uh, hi, Arlene. I know I'm missing people coming in. Yeah, I have not seen Miss Rose in forever. I, I should send her a card and see. Because uh, I think she she and her husband were in their 80s, and this was years ago. So, yeah. Kim Bucks, Deb Craft, Kimber. I know I'm skipping some. Jamie Inc. Uh, Lily, Dave's Marie, Darcy Glam, Darcy Glam. She's still that's Darcy Glam is sister woman, Jonna's real life sister. I did her a triptych. So this is like, and again, all these are eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10 thereabouts. So, um, they're, they're much bigger than here, but I did a Darcy, a little triptych there. So there's Darcy Glam. And uh, she lives in Atlanta. She's we, she's streamed at my house, and uh, as has Jonna, sister woman. Uh, let's see, Ches Cheska UK, Michelle, Joe, Queen, uh, Queen Diane, Eileen, Scrap Pit, Harmony, and Harmony was one of the ones that any caretaker, any um, person that was like a caretaker. Um, a nurse, a caretaker, a home health worker. They always got hearts. They always got hearts. I'm trying to hold this. <laughs> they always got hearts in their claws. So hers, and again, these are just the photographs. This was the cover of hers. And, uh, oh, Eileen's page. Uh, yeah, she's in here. I, I'm, I'll find her because, yeah, oh, she, she's coming up. I'll show you her collage, too. And, again, the, I'm not showing you everybody's collage. Most of these people have a collage. I'm just kind of skipping through the names. And, uh, anyway, so Harmony was a home care health person. I think she's in the U.K. or Scotland. I can't remember now. I haven't seen her for a long time. But, anyway, she had a heart, and, and I closed it with a paintbrush. And you pulled the paintbrush out and you opened it to reveal her favorite painting. So this was her favorite painting. And so this was on the inside. So you could see the, the, the heart opened up into wings. So these, this, you can see the hinges right there. So the, the heart opened up upwards to make it look like wings. And then that was her favorite painting. So we put a, a print of her favorite painting in there. And so this was Harmony. So everybody that uh, was a health care worker or home health care, they got hearts. Okay, so let's see. Then we have Kate Scrap. Here's Eileen. So Eileen, if y'all don't know, Eileen, and I always say, I used to babysit for, um, used to babysit for, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? You know, uh, oh, what's his name on the, on the band, American Bandstand? His name just, anyway, she didn't babysit for Dick Clark. She didn't uh, babysit for Dick Clark, but she babysat for Dick Clark's son. 
<laughs> but anyway, so there's Eileen with Sandra D. And uh, she had a door. This door right here opened up. And inside was Sandra D. right there. And uh, so anyway, yeah, Dick Clark. So Eileen actually babysat for Dick Clark's son. Not Dick Clark. She's not that old. <laughs> Uh -huh. And actually, Eileen was on American Bandstand. We found the clip one time. I don't have it saved anymore. It's three computers ago <laughs> when we did, I think, three laptops ago. But anyway, I found, we found the clip somewhere on YouTube uh, of Eileen in the background of uh, one of the American Bandstands when she was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, we found her on, on American Bandstand. So, and then again, there's a, there's a questionnaire sheet for everybody. Okay. So this one was, uh, then there's Eileen. And then this one was Hannah. Hannah, see her name's not on there. Some of the people have names on Sarah, Mel C, KP, Chris, Slee, Photo Joy. And there's more in there. I know I missed some because some of the tabs are not there. But anyway, this was the original Friends in the Box Fluffette. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you how fluffy they can get very quickly, very quickly. Ugh. Okay, so now let's go back to putting, deconstructing this one and moving it onto the bigger rings. Uh, yes, Janet is in the new book, <laughs> as are some of the others, Zandra and some of the others. Some of them are still in the other book, too, but you know, I'm kind of, we're starting a new one here. And again, I, I, I still have all this. Look, I still have all this to add. All this needs to go in the new Fibs book. So, uh, but there are some people in here like Janet. So I got little tabs. Let's see if I can get everything in here. So I'm going to try to pull out two or three things um, at a time. And again, these are out of flow book of papers. Like, like, for instance, right here. No, no, it's not it. Like the little dog, y'all probably recognize this from the flow book of papers. I'm trying to kind of keep them together so I can get, you know, three or four paper pages at a time. So, yeah, um, I like to get back to this and uh, work in it because I really enjoy it. I enjoy making a page for the for the fibs <laughs> but you can in the meantime don't get bored you can look at the papers <laughs> uh, you can look at the papers <laughs> and get inspired and then some of these are just from other books that i've had other art journals that i've had that um i've just punched the holes myself i've probably deconstructed them from another journal and put them in this one Here's a bunch more flow paper. So what I'm doing is, let me, let me flip over to one here, is making pages. I'm not doing collages for everybody anymore because there's just too many and I never would do anything else. But let's go over here and I'll show you. Uh, let's see. Let me flip over. Here's some blank page. All right. So for instance, like, look, here's some cardstock. I put this in here because it was thicker. And every now and then it's kind of good to have, maybe I don't need two here, but to have a piece of cardstock in here, like this one. I don't need this one with the little booklet house here. This one, this green thumb paper book, how to build this from a flow. I don't need this one in here. But my point is, is to have every now and then have a cardstock piece because that'll keep your book from just being too floppy, right? And then I'll have tabs. Again, this is from uh, one of those graffiti. It was a graffiti journal where there's all these different cityscapes. And it's made for you to do your own graffiti on the pictures. See, like this. So let me just kind of skip over to... Let me skip over to one of the fibs here. Well, uh, I did put mom and Denise in it. So here's my mom and my daughter, Denise. This is when she went out to Texas last year. And uh, so I put all these little things like some cowboy boots, some little uh, quotes, 
Girls Night In, the Alamo, and, you know, the Texas flag. So that's what Denise went out, flew out to visit mom there. And uh, so this is like I did a page for them. And uh, there's some Bob Ross things. <laughs> Here's a Cam and Boo. They were, uh, of course, on their phones. But I, I snagged a picture. I love this picture of them just hanging out together on their phones. And uh, so I put that in here. And I have a couple other little things in here. Um, this is when Boo went to New York. There she is fishing. Here's, of course, I have a double page spread of my cats. Hi, <laughs> Dot. Uh, I have, um, you know, pictures of uh, Malibu and Oliver. Because, you know, you got to do that, right? <laughs> they're my friends in the box. Well, they're, I put them in there because they're family. There's another one I can. Okay, so here is, let's start with right here. So our faithful mess. Let me move this over. I'm running out of room. So our faithful mess, here's her double page spread. Again, not everybody's got double pages, but, you know, this is when I first especially started them. Um, I have room, you know, I have lots of room. Uh, yeah, they do, Judy. <laughs> oh, there's faithful mess. Okay, so there's our faithful mess. Uh, and uh, so faithful mess, I don't think she's doing anymore, but she was selling. She's a washi tape queen, just like... Um, uh, Vicki B is our planner queen. Uh, Faithful Mess is our washi queen, washi tape queen. So she used to sell these books, these booklets full of washi tape. So anytime there's washi tape or I got some from her books, I put all here. So our Faithful Mess, I got little note cards in here from her. And uh, so this is, yeah, this is our Faithful Mess. So you can see how I'm trying to make it uh, a pro, you know, make it fit the person, make it fit the person. So faithful mess. Are you, did you stop selling? Um, did you stop selling your washi tape books? I'm going to show it to you in case she ever wants to do it again. So this is my washi book from our faithful mess. And, uh, Oh, one of my Artie Dar things fell out. This this little card fell out from the other Artie Dar. I'll have to put that back. Okay, it was on the floor. So this was um, this was, she would sell these books. I'm gonna see. Wait for her answer. But they were all washi tape samples. And what it is, it's the little photo book, right? Like you put your photos in. And she would sell these on her Etsy, full of washi tape samples. I mean, just tons and tons of washi tape samples. And um, I don't know if she's doing it anymore. I hate selling. <laughs> oh, well, you don't want to, you want to sell them, Faithful Mass. You got to sell them. If you, if you want to sell them, if you, I, uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk in Instagram because you really need to sell them. Um, you know, maybe we can figure out some way for you to sell them or I'll help you sell them, but you don't want to give this away. These are, this is way too much work and way too much involved. But anyway, um, we'll talk on an Instagram faithfulness. So this was her double page spread. Then there's a picture of, um, Logan out in LA, just Cameron again. Um, I think this is the only picture I put of me. I, this is my throwback Thursday picture that I put in here. So this was um, this was me in 19, I think, 81. This was in 1981, and, and I, had a, uh, I had a Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. This is the car that I told you all about that uh, a, 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 a pickup truck ran me into the guardrail, and I spun back out in five o'clock traffic, six lanes of traffic, and went under an 18-wheeler. That's the car that went under the 18-wheeler. And if y'all don't believe in angels, you would after what happened. So I go under an 18-wheeler. The 18-wheeler's back wheels knock me back out in traffic. I spin around in 5 o'clock traffic, and I come to a stop. I look up, and I'm facing eight lanes of traffic. Well, seven lanes of traffic. Facing all the traffic has come to a dead stop, and I'm facing them all. And I'm looking at all this and I said, oh, you know, and I'm just in total shock. I didn't even know what happened. But what had happened is 
a pickup truck had run me into the rail and run me into the you know metal side rail and I didn't know it but my back right we rear tire caught on the rail and flew off into traffic I mean it's like a movie <laughs> and it flew off into traffic and I did not know that my right rear tire had flown off so I go to put on the brakes and I have no right rear brake. There's no right rear tire. So I go into a spin. And because I go into a spin, I go right under, right under an 18 wheeler. And that then knocks me back out in traffic and all that. So I try to open my door and it wouldn't open. So I climb out the window and kind of, you know, I'm kind of in shock and walk over and sit on the rail at the side. And by this time, you know, people are coming up to, they're all running up to my car. And looking at the car because they think there's somebody dead in there. All the whole car, the front end was completely smashed. The back end was smashed. Everything was completely smashed into a ball except where I was sitting. And I wasn't even wearing seat belts. We didn't have to wear seat belts back then. And uh, so I, everything was crushed except the little, where I was sitting, right where I was sitting. It was, there was no, there was no wreck right there. So, um, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, there is, uh, there's me sitting on my car <laughs> back in, I think, 1980, 81 or two, I forget. But anyway, that's my Smokey and the Bandit car. And um, so then, then when we, when we called uh, the tow company and asked him about, you know, is there anything salvageable? Because, you know, they tow it off and I got picked up, you know, went home and all that, called the insurance company. And they said the only thing salvageable in the car were the floor mats. That was it. Yeah. I know. So anyway, there's my guardian angel story. So I keep that picture. All right, so here's APG Jamie, artist, poet girl, who will be in the uh, Streamathon lineup, artist, poet girl, and she's another one that I've known for, you know, 10 years, and um, I know God was there for sure, Kathy C., so let me take this little piece out here so I can show you. There's APG Jamie, YouTube. She went to a U one of the YouTube conventions or whatever they're called, YouTube, you know, where you get to know other YouTubers. And uh, so there's our APG Jamie. Again, this is, you know, probably a little bit older picture. But anyway, there she is there. And um, so one of her funny letters, if you ever got a letter from APG Jamie, you know how a uh, hoot she is. She is a hoot. And her letters are hilarious. So I got one of her letters in here. And, um, and again, I put paper clips and tabs so I can keep extra stuff. All right, so then here's our Zandra, Scraps to Beauty Zandra, who is the owner of the Paint and Paper Studio website store that I was talking about that I have uh, some coming in this week, and uh, which I'll show next week. So she's our, our, she's our YouTube mermaid. She loves, um, she loves mermaids and she loves um, Frida. So her business card has her own little Frida design on there. But oh, I made it so it looks like she gave up her shoes and got her, her mermaid tail. So, and then I put her name there in some gold letters. And these are all just little things from her. Look, I'd rather be a mermaid. There's her paint and paper studio shop. There's her YouTube channel. And uh, then I just have different little mermaid things. And there's one of her cards. And another one, these are a couple of her bookmarks. And so I just have those tabbed with a big giant paper clip. So like, so you see what I'm talking about, my Fibs page. So there's the Xander page. Then we have, this is um, Norma, Branson Limo Norma. They have a uh, limousine uh, service company in Branson, Missouri. And uh, so I got our business card and I got, you know, some pictures of limos, Branson, Missouri, you know, the, 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 the acts, you know, the, the theater stuff. And uh, so anyway, then she also makes jewelry. As a matter of fact, this one right here, this is one of Norma's bracelets right there. So Norma makes bracelets. So, um, Yeah. So that's Norma's page. Then we have Teresa and um, 
and y'all keep Teresa in your uh, thoughts and prayers. She's she is you know has very serious health issues. So uh, Teresa Peterman. So yeah, this is Teresa's. Then here we have Lady Jan, Lady True North Jan. You know the one that made me the uh, Cad Fail book. How many of y'all have not seen the Cad Fail book? Is there anybody here that has not seen the Cad Fail book? Oh my gosh. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. So she's um, our quail. She's a uh, she's on Quail Hill, and um, her um, her husband is uh, Mr. Bear. And here's some of her cards here. So I've got different little cards and different little uh, things here that fold in and out. Some feathers and a letter and some posts. You know, just little things, just little mementos, little mementos. Hi, Debbie McGillwee, McGillwee. Welcome, good to have you. And uh, I know it is Annie Mame. If y'all want to see it, I'll show it again. I don't mind showing the Cat Fail book. Um, I can give you a, like a pared down version flip through of it. Uh, it is amazing. Okay, so there's that. And then here's Zeely, some of the things she sent me, uh, gifts. Uh, I put the the Amazon thing, the cards in there, gift from, and then I have an envelope here, and then this is Annie V. Annie V is another one. She's um she's friends with me and Mary Atier. She never she's not online. I don't think she's ever been online. Uh, she watches me and Mary and probably others, but for Mary and I have received gifts from Annie V. And um, I do need to. Uh, I think I sent her a Christmas card. But I haven't heard back from her. I'll have to ask Mary if she's heard from Annie V for a while. But here's some of her letters. Then here is, this was a little thing. So here's Sister Woman Jonna. And uh, I ordered, this is, she does the vintage, she does vintage paper ephemera packs. And I do have one coming. I need to ask her. I ordered one of her ephemera kits, I think somewhere, for like somewhere around December 9th or 10th. And I still haven't got it. And I tracked it and it said that it made it to a certain post office and it's been sitting there. And I know that's not the only person. I'm not the only person that's had post office issues. So, um, but I can't do anything about it. She'd have to be the one to do something about it. But anyway, Katie, um, then here is um, Laura uh, Rafferty. Y'all know I have her color book, the circle, circle color book i forget the name of it the circle portraits i think is the name of it circle portraits y'all want to see the okay i'll show y'all the catfield book i won't go through it like line by line as to what everything exactly means because i have a whole it's a two-page legend there's a two-page contents legend that goes with the book and if you've never um, read or, you know, Jan and I've read all of Cadfell's books, but they also, uh, Derek Jacoby had a um, British actor. He was on, I think, BBC's, uh, like, I don't know if it was on Masterpiece Theater, but it was on, you know, some series years ago. And he he played Cadfell. But we I'd read the books before I'd seen any of the series. So, yes, I know. I love those books, too. And uh, so does, uh, so does, uh, uh, so does Lady Jan. So this is, um, so Circle Portraits Coloring Book. There's her business card. There's one of her actual paintings here. This is a small watercolor that Laura's done. This is one of her business cards. And this, this is from the Flow Book. So it had a flap, right? So I went ahead and put her, I made her a little, um, all these have little flaps with little animals behind them in the woods. And it just reminded me of Laura. She does a lot of um, outdoor painting, plain air painting and stuff. So I, I did this double page spread for her. And all these little doors open up uh, with little animals in each one. So this is uh, Laura. And uh, yeah, she uh, circle portraits. Let me see. I know I'm not. I'm missing a lot of chat here, guys. Uh, okay. All right. So let me finish going through. Here's Dawn. Make a mess. And I've got, you know, I got a card here and I put her name down in stickers. So some of them are just started. And I know a lot of here's Kimberly five five seven. Some of these I know some of the people 
still have their stuff in here that I have to go through and add to. All right, so here's Janet. Uh, Monkey Island Madness Janet. Here's one of her little notes and um, her little sock monkey. And she likes gardening and she loves pins. She collects pins. Y'all know Janet. So I did all these little like a, a combo pin and um, uh, seed pack. A, a pin. She's growing. She's growing pins. She's growing pins. <laughs> <Those seed packs. laughs> And uh, so anyway, this is the Janet page, a little note here, and JMY. That was Janet's page. Then here's all the people I started making list of that I'm going to add. And uh, here's Painty Girl Lori. And y'all know she makes these uh, adorable little creatures out of light bulbs. And uh, Lori has been really uh, doing a lot of YouTube channels. So uh, make sure, uh, I mean, a lot of videos on her YouTube channel. And she will also be in the lineup on uh, New Year's. So Painty Girl Lori. And I started one over here with Mark, I think. Mark Muir. Um, Mary's laughing at something. Mary must be, I don't know if Mary's watching or she's laughing at a comment. I just saw Mary text me something. Um, Sylvia. Um, so she's got a page. And Barb Owens got a page. And, and again, they're just kind of, they're always in, in uh, progress. Um, let's see. This one is Riri, Riri's page. And then see, have a whole bunch of blanks. So all these, these plain blank ones here, these, I can take these out. And they don't have to be, and I want to do all those at once. They don't have to stay in the book until I need them. So I can thin up the book. I can thin up the book quite a bit by taking out uh, the extra pages until I need them, right? Because it bulks it up. Look, so these are like colorful pages that I've cut out of flow, out of the, um, what do you call it? Uh, some of the uh, graffiti journals and different things. Like that's a graffiti. So I'd rather have pages built off of this than just built off of plain paper. So the plain papers can come out. So if I have some more up front, I think that's all the plain paper I have. So the book is right now this much. This much has got right there. This is how much I've got actually done with fibs. So you can see I still have you know, all that and all this right here. So all this will go off of these smaller rings onto the bigger rings because I'll just do a few more for y'all don't have to watch me do all this especially if y'all want to see the uh, if you want to see Jan's uh, Cadfell book which it's only 11 so I have some time so and you know you want to take your time putting these in so you don't you don't tear them up but they just pop they just pop back on the rings I've got too many pages. Don't don't try to do more than three at a time or four. I think I've got about eight that time. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Let's see, that's going to be too many because i got a card stock in here. If you, you do want to put a, a card stock in every now and then just to give it some stability. If you have all paper, it can be a little floppy, even with hard cover, uh, front and back covers. Um, it's better if you have uh, it's better if you have a a few cardstock inserts in there. And see, look, this is not a full size page, but it fits. So um, with you can punch out, you can punch um, punch your own. If you have the uh, art or happy planner punch, then you can punch your own papers. That's what all these are. These are out of the flow book of papers and other journals and i punch them all myself so um and again you can get the happy planner one which i have or you can get just the black plain arc one they punch the same holes uh and the arc one is cheaper see that was too many to pull i gotta be careful because i'll rip them if i'm not careful you don't want to try to do too many at once so let me see if y'all got any questions or anything, and I'll do this, and then I'll, uh, I don't really know if I want to do the whole book, because it's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a minute. Hi, Leanne. 
Um, yeah, and there again, um, there's the New Year's Eve streamathon schedule. You can get it from Mary's channel in her community tab, or I've already got it in my cut and paste all day. There is the link for the um, Google Doc, uh, the Google document with all the links to all the streamers, which I did read out first thing this morning. I read all the streamers out. It'll start 6.30 a.m. Thursday morning Eastern time on Mary's channel from 6.30 to 8.30. And then I'm on Thursday morning from 8.30 to 10.30. And then it goes on all day long, New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day. Okay. So anyway, yeah, see, look, I still have all these to do. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'll do it. I'll do the rest of this after the show while I'm watching Janet. Uh, I'll, I'll put the rest of this together when I'm watching Janet. Because I think y'all saw, you know, how it, how it works, right? I'm just moving it from a smaller disc to a larger disc so I can get more pages in there. All right. So let me go ahead and set this aside. And as I'm running out of room to set it aside, uh, let me show you my Lady True North Jan. Cadfell book. Now, Lady True North Jan. Let me get all my let me get all my Cadfell stuff up here. I have a little stack of Cadfell stuff. So anytime I show it or talk about it, I have all kinds of stuff to pull out about it. So Lady Jan actually went to the monastery where Shrewsbury Abbey uh, in um, in uh, UK. She she actually went there and the, she made she sent me that brought me this stuff back and mailed it back to me year a few quite a few years before she made me the book. So here's a couple of um, this is a uh, hardback and then this is this is uh, the the you can find them all in uh, paperbacks. You'll have to hunt if you want to find them in in a hardback because they were written in the uh, late seventies early 80s, I believe, or through the 80s, Ellis Peters, which is a um, pseudonym. Uh, it's a woman writer. And um, anyway, uh, yeah, these are these are two. So it's, the premise of it is Brother Cadfell, who was in the um, Crusades, uh, retired from being a soldier and became a monk. And he solved mysteries. That's that uh, in a in a nutshell. So he solved myster mysteries, murder mysteries, and uh, that's if you don't know who Cadfell is, just go look them up. Uh, they're uh, they're all mysteries. I think there's uh, Jan told me one time there's 21 of them, and we've read them all. But it's been years since I've read them. I haven't read them since the 80s. Uh, so uh, it's been a long time since I read them. But I have a couple copies here just to show you who, what the books were. And then these are some of the, the uh, things that she, um, she has sent me. Here's uh, an interview with Alice Peters and all kinds of things. Well, this is a separate thing, but this is stuff that she has sent me. And um, so I keep it all together. Um, the footsteps of brother Caffel. This is what, um, where she went to. And uh <clears throat> So she sent me all this stuff because she knows how much I like it as much as she does. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, Pacola is talking about because we're trying to do projects that people can either do, they're not necessarily going to follow along per se on the um, streamathon, New Year's Eve streamathon. But a Pacola, maybe somebody asked Pacola, thank you, Jane, um, asked her if they're going to post supply list. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't suspect that most would. Uh, for one thing, you, you know, we're streaming live. And so even if we gave you the supply list, we're live. We can't really, you know, if somebody wants to try to do it on social media, most people probably are not going to see the supply list on social media unless you just follow that one person, um, you know, follow them all the time so you know where to look for them. Um, you can message people and ask them. I'm going to do a collage Um and I'm going to do a collage testing out some gesso boards. And uh, I'm going to give away the collage that I do, whether or not I finish it in two hours. It doesn't matter because I'll just finish it and send it to the person that will I'll do the giveaway, right? 
but that's my plan is to do um, a collage on this on the gesso board and uh, do a giveaway. But it's not something I can say, well, you know, go get a Katherine Anderson door book or go get, you know, it's not something that you can really follow along with. It's not a tutorial per se. I show you and tell you, and, and I do this with every project I do. I show and tell everything I use in that in that project. So if I'm doing a collage, even if I've done hundreds of collages, which I've had done, uh, I will still say, okay, I'm using Americana paint. This is the color I'm using. I'm using Americana paint. I'm using tacky glue. I'm using golden matte medium. I tell you everything I'm using while I am doing it. I did have someone message me or leave a comment on one of my comments about asking me if I could leave in my description box, a list of everything I use. Well, no, I'm not going to do that for a couple reasons. One, we we usually do more than one project. Two, it's very time consuming to go find every project, list a link, put a link. If I was going to do that, I'd be an Amazon affiliate, so I'd get paid for that, right? <laughs> so I'm not an Amazon affiliate, and I don't get paid for listing all those products. So I'm very good, and so are my mods are very good about telling you what we're using during the project. Just look at Pacola. Every book we've mentioned, she's put list of, I mean, she's linked it. So if you, you know, I show every paint, I show every glue. So if you're watching my stream and, and seeing what I'm doing, you can see what I'm using. So you can write it down yourself. Uh, I don't need to list every product. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I don't have time to do that. You know, I just don't have time to go through and find every product I use in every stream, every collage, every book, every glue, every paint. I don't have time to do that. And again, if I did have time to do it, I'd be an Amazon affiliate. So I'd get paid for doing all that work because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And uh, thanks, Barr. <laughs> yeah. And the mods are really awesome, um, uh, you know, about telling you what, you know, if I miss a question, what kind of paint did she say? What kind of ink did she say? Whatever. They're real good about telling you, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time to do that. It's, uh, and again, you know, it's the people that don't stream have no idea what the time consuming it is just to stream and do the projects and then all the background that goes along with streaming and keeping up a YouTube channel. So uh, not dissing on anybody. I'm just saying, no, I will not be listing everything I use under every video every product so it's just not going to happen so just have to watch the videos and see uh oh what was that oh this tray fell um you'll just have to uh watch the video and see what i use because i use a lot of stuff especially when i do multi you know mixed media all right so this is uh i have this rubber band closed but when jan sent it to me and this lady true north jan if you want to follow her she has two uh instagram uh accounts let me see if I can find those for you. Um, let me go to IG here. She has uh, Lady, let's say this, Lady True North and, and Craft, Lady Craft. What are the, see, I never know the names. I just follow people. Let's see, Lady, okay, so there it is. Lady North Crafts is one of her channel where she shows her cards and her projects and things that she does. So that's Lady North Crafts. And then, and then she has her other one is Lady True North, Lady True North, um, and she, there she shows a lot of her nature photos and stuff. And she was on Vancouver Island, BC, um, and she has beautiful pictures. And uh, so you know you can follow both of her. She has Lady True North and Lady Craft, Lady Jan Craft, or what did I say it was? Uh, Lady North Crafts. So, yeah. So when she sent me this book that she made, and I know I can't remember how long she said. I took her some, I'm sure, weeks to do. Uh, and I know she didn't work on it just solid because there's a lot of work in this. This was all wrapped up with twine and stuff. But to get in and out of it, I, I you know, took off the strings and just put rubber bands around it just to hold it together. But it didn't come with rubber bands. That's my doing. So, 
it was much more, uh, <laughs> let's see if I can zoom in here. And sometimes she pops in here, depends on, I haven't seen her today. Hi, G. Hi, Sherry. Deb Farrell. I know I'm missing people coming in. Um, let's see. Um, sometimes, you know, if somebody messages me or comments and says, I, you know, I didn't see the name of that ink, I'll tell you, but... I get people, and, and I, I'm not trying to, you know, be mean to anybody. I'm just being honest here. If somebody goes back on it, I've had people, and we get our comments. I have my um, comments moderated so that I know when I get a comment on YouTube. So if I get any, you know, P-O-R-N or anything like that, I can remove them. Uh, but I will, um, I get questions, and I've actually get people asking me on a five or six year old video. What was the name of that pencil? What color pencil was it you used on that face? I have no idea even what picture that was, let alone what pencil. But I mean, really? Somebody's asking me. And I don't know. Are they just being funny? Are they just trying to be irritating? Maybe so. But if they're really being honest, do you really think I'm going to remember the color a pencil I used in a color book five years ago? But you get that. I'm serious. And I just say, look, you'll have to watch the video. If I didn't say it in the video, I don't remember. Because, <laughs> you know, I have over a thousand videos now, guys. I do not remember every supply I used in every color book or mixed media project in a thousand videos. I just, my memory's not that good. So if I didn't say it in the video, you can pretty much assure I do not remember. Now, if it's in the last, say, month, then I can probably answer it. But don't go back five and six years and ask me about a product I used back then. Because it ain't happening, people. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 forget that and go on to Lady Jan's book here. And again, I'm not going to be able to tell you what every single thing means because there is a whole legend, uh, how many pages? Five, six pages? There's five or six pages that go along with this. She and and, um, and uh, Mr. Bear typed all this up, and it's all about everything that's on every page of every book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, some picture. <laughs> <laughs> good one good one sbj oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i know and you just gotta kind of laugh you really do you know because i i don't know if these people are serious or if they're just you know dissing on you to make you irritated you know, I don't know, you know, but anyway, I try to keep a, a good spirit about the whole thing. And just in my answer to most, you know, in, to internally, what I say to myself is these people have no idea what it takes to stream. They don't know what it's like to, you know, maintain a YouTube channel and keep up with the thousand. You know, they just don't know. So I just, you know, plead ignorance on their behalf. <laughs> Now, if they say something really mean, you know, if it's truly just being truly mean, like your show is just so chatty. Why do you chat so much? Delete. Don't have time for you. You know, I just don't have time for you. If you don't have anything constructive to say, this is a chat show. I don't know how many times I have to say it. But I mean, if people are just being downright mean, I just delete them. I, I don't I don't care. You know. I just move on. You learn to, you get some thick skin after 10 years. All right. So anyway, all right. So this is uh, all the pages of all the, the work that is on all the, every page. And every page has a meaning and has to do with some form or another of Cat Fell's story, which I'm not going to go through um, the details of it all, but I will zoom in and show you some of the book just so you can see the work that went into this. First of all, it's an accordion book. Okay, here's another bit. There's a map in here, too. There's a whole thing of a map in here. And um, I will show you this. Uh, there's a couple different folds that she did in here. And I, don't, I can't remember the name of this fold right now. If you all remember the name, feel free to put it in because I don't remember everything. I have to look it up on the... On the um, on the legend and you know, I don't have time to do the whole book today, but look at this, look at this uh, origami fold here. Look at this. 
there's a name for this fold if someone remembers what it's called but look this all opens up into a whole book a whole map here with everything going on with all this. so anyway the so yeah there's a couple different things like this in the book where uh it's his uh, crusade route and some different things but anyway look at this Look at this book. I mean, this map fold. It's a, not a tent fold. Uh, maybe it's a tent fold. I forget. But look at, you know, the work that went into this book is simply stunning. Okay. And everything has a meaning. And uh, the, the this is, you know, she made this faux paper, this faux um, uh, parchment paper and all of this. So, um, all right. So the book itself is a double-sided accordion book so if y'all know what accordion book is up down up down up down this is a double-sided accordion book there's stuff on both sides there are pockets on both sides what if they say every now and then i have to delete comments from people offended by my chocolate complexion we love your chocolate complexion do not let anybody tell, say anything bad about our faithfulness. Oh, if anybody said anything uh, like that, they would immediately be deleted. Any comments like that. But we we love you, faithfulness, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So, yeah. But I would be deleting that, too. I delete mean comments. There's no sense, you know, why? You know, it's your channel. You don't have to have a bunch of, you know, negativity on there if you don't want to. Just get rid of it. I, I try to be patient as much as I can, but you know. Oh, all right. So here we go. So there's little maps, little pockets, and then she has these are her own photographs. So if y'all don't know it, this, this there's a stories about the rose. There's all kinds of all this mean stuff in the in the Cadfell books, which I think if I remember, there's 21 of them. I, I, I'm really at a loss to remember. I should write these things down sometime. When Lady Jan's here, write down some of these notes. Like, how many books are there again? Yeah. What year did you go to the UK? What <laughs> Stuff like that. Because I don't remember, guys. I'm constantly moving on to, you know, uh, projects and stuff. But um, anyway, A Morbid Taste for Bones was the first one, if I'm not mistaken. And I do have that in paperback. This was the first one. So if you are going to start reading the Cadfell series, I don't think you have to read them all in order, but I would recommend this one being the first the first one you read because it kind of sets the stage for uh, Cadfell's history. Uh, but after that, uh, you can kind of, you know, it's best if you can read them in order. But uh, if you can't, then at least read A Morbid Taste for Bones the first. So there's a little map here. And again, she actually went here. So there's all these little photos, every, all the little, everything that means something to the story Jan has put in here. And then what she did is because he was an herbalist and, um, a, you know, the doctor of the time, he not only solved uh, murder mysteries, but he had, you know, a knowledge of herbs to the extent where, you know, it would be like a heart surgeon today having those skills and, and nobody knowing, you know, how to do those things. That's why I'm real interested to read this book here that I showed earlier, The Light Ages. And this is the one I would tell Jan, if you're watching, Jan, uh, this is on the surprising story of medieval science. And um, I just found it's a brand new book. And I just and I, this is one of the ones that I got yesterday at uh, Barnes and Noble. Um, yeah, sometimes I do, Terry, uh, but I don't, you know, it's just not worth the energy, you know, especially when you have, you know, what do we have here? 27,000 followers. It's not worth it for people to have to get all involved in a controversy. Somebody says something mean, then, you know, you guys that support me are going to want to comment back and then it turns into a tussle. I just delete it. It's not worth the tussle. It's not worth you guys' tussle to try to defend something, you know, now if it was something really that needed to be said, I would say it, but for the most part, people are pretty nice on my channel. I'm going to be honest. We, for, you know, for as many subbies as we have and as many people as watch, you know, we usually have 150 to 200 people here and um, in, uh, in lurk mode that, you know, people are nice. The fibs are nice people. I'm just going to be honest. We just don't have a lot of um, mean people right so yeah 
Okay, so anyway, uh, she would do the little, um, I think this is, yeah, she would do um, the herbs, Jan did. So like uh, citrus, lemon, orange, and then she would have, she'd have the actual little lemon verbena or whatever it is, the little herb. She'd have the, look, she has the actual herb in a, in a tea dyed coffee filter, a tea dyed coffee filter. And, and each one of these represents things that are in the Cadfell story. So she would have these little pockets like this all throughout this book. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Weed them out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But we seriously, for as many people as we have in the Fibs community, not just my channel, but all the Fibs. Uh, in our, you know, the ones you'll see streaming on the streamathon, and then all the ones that, you know, may not be there but are uh, affiliated with being a fib. Um, we're nice people, <laughs> so you just don't get a lot of haters. But when we do, it's just best to uh, to do that. Um, okay, so uh, Jan said, "Don't plant lemon balm in your garden; it turns a weeds and take over." Yeah, well, Lady True North Jan. She has like tons of land. Well, you do too, Janet, but you garden more. I don't know if Lady Jan might do more um, wild, wild growing, you know, wild weed growing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen her. She's taken us a tour. Uh, I've been on a tour, virtual tour with her. She's taken me with my with FaceTiming and taken me all over her um, land and her area. Uh, and it's really awesome. It's really awesome. So uh, maybe she just has wild weeds. She has wild. She has wild weeds. <laughs> so as you can see, this all opens up. Here's another one of the tent fold things. The tent fold. Um, so here you go. It's down. It's another map. I think this might be the crusade uh, pass that he went on. But look, she did all this. I mean, this is a this is a lot of this is a lot of work, <laughs> and every every page or every other page a uh, flap has another. Uh, this one's got time, has another little pocket with it with a tea dyed um, coffee filter to make it look like you know a little pouch, a little vintage pouch with the herb in it. So, uh, yeah, so the Crusades and just different pictures. And I'm going to try to, and everything has a meaning. And there's a legend. There's a legend on the, um, you know, over here on those five pages <coughs> talking about each and every item and what it means. It's just so, it's just so amazing to me that she could do this, that she made this. Another uh, pouch of this was rosemary, and so and it's double sided too. So um, some of the pouch like this goes in here. There's little maps, little drawings, the little alchemy, and the little everything. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's just so amazing everything that she has put into this book. <clears throat> and this is the one side. And then it goes over, it, it flips over. And, and then here is Derek Jacoby. This is the actor that played Cad Fell. Oh, I know. It's it's beautiful in person, uh, Pink Monkey. And Color Me Pink Monkey, she's going to be in the, um, the stream a thon as well. I did list it again, guys. Let me go ahead and post it again. Uh, paste. There's Mary. Okay, there's Mary's uh, Google document. Uh, if you want to find all the streamers, the list and links to all the streamers starting Thursday morning at uh, Mary's time, um, Eastern time, 630 through the next day uh, through New Year's uh, Friday at something like 839, 30, whenever Mary wants to wrap it up. So it's a long all day New Year's Eve and all day New Year's Day. There will be streamers and we'll all link to each other. After me comes Colleen and Kathy Berg stream together. They're on after me. And most of the streamers are two hours. There are a couple in there that I think are one hour. And there's an occasional break for an hour so here or there. But uh, otherwise, this stream goes on all day Thursday and all day Friday. 
So that's Derek Jacoby or Jacoby. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but he's the one that played Cadfield. So then you turn it over. And again, here's some more, some more pouches of herbs. Then you turn it over. Oh, there's his, there's his uh, herb, herb. Hang on. Hubster's opening the garage. Not his herb, where, where he makes his, his, um, in the monastery, his, uh, I want to say herbology room. I don't know. I can't think of what to say. But anyway, that's his room. And uh, so anyway, uh, so then you go on the other side and she has some more pictures of him working in uh, where he make, where he has his herbs <laughs> and more little pictures and, and uh, meanings of everything. And uh, so, I mean, it's just so much work in the whole book. Um, here's the pocket, uh, uh, herb planter guide when to plant. Let's see if that fold that way. Let's see. Do I fold that way? That way. And, uh, so this is the other side, the back side. So every little thing has a meaning and it just flips and flops and opens up. Here's the monastery, um, or not the, oh, I don't know. It's a priory and, uh, she, this is actual pictures, I think, from uh, the, Sh the Shrewsbury Abbey, which when she went there, I think this is her actual picture or a postcard that they had there at the Abbey. Um, so, because she actually went there. Uh, let's see, then it goes this way. <clears throat> More herbs here. And uh, different things from the Abbey. There's more pictures from different places, different. I think these are different abbeys there. I'm not sure which one's the Shrewsbury Abbey. I, it's all in on our notes. <clears throat> it's all on our notes, but there's just tons of pictures and herbs. And oh, let's see, one of the herbs fell off the back. Hang on, let me flip this over and put that back in there. Oops, let's put it back in that way. The, the stained glass windows, these are the photographs from it, uh, from the stained glass window. Um, and then little notes here about from Ellis Peters and from Jan. And uh, it just keeps flapping. Let's see, this, this fell out the backside. There we go. And again, it's just amazing all the work she put into this. There's some other pictures that are in a little... I think these are some of the sites in that area. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's this fell out on this side here. You put that back in there. So it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just a stunning book. And it's just so much work in it. Yeah, the map alone, and then all the papers and the 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 uh, content legend, and then again, let me pull out this map again to show you this one. I mean, it's just it's just amazing the work that went into this book. So you know, I don't mind pulling this out every few months and showing it again because it's just it's just amazing and then she has it wrapped up so she had this twine on it when she uh gave it to me and it's all wrapped up like you would have gotten a a pouch back in the day you know and i just but i just have rubber bands around it now so that i can get in and out of it if i tried to twine it back on it oh little asmr moment but doesn't it just Where's my rubber bands? I had two of them. Here they are. So I just rubber band it shut so I can get into it easy. And it just, I got to make sure everything stays in their pouches. And uh, all the other information that she sent me. And then I do have a couple of my own copies of two of the books here. That I just keep it all together. So when I talk about Cad Fail, I have my little packet. <laughs> So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap that wrap it up today. I hope y'all enjoyed the um, book haul that I showed earlier and showed the Fibs books and how I'm trying to keep all that together. And, um, yeah, 
So if y'all want to go to Janet's at 1, it's 11.30 now, Eastern Time. Janet comes on at 1 Eastern. And I think she is going to talk about the scavenger hunt. She's going to host a scavenger hunt starting on New Year's Eve. Uh, if she's not drinking too much. <laughs> there she is. There's Lady True North Jan Lady. We we're talking about you. I show, re showed your book and I did show everybody your uh, two Instagram channels. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Lady True North, she does not stream. She doesn't have a stream. But if you want to follow her on Instagram, I showed those earlier. And so she's the one that made the Cad Fail book. So, yeah, I have to show it. I have to show it every now and then, Lady Jan. So, oh, you're welcome, Lady, I mean, uh, <laughs> Devin Rack, thank you. And uh, so don't forget, guys, here I'm going to post it one more time. This is the um, Google Doc for if you want to find all the list of everybody, uh, everybody that is streaming uh, on uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day via Mary Atia and um, I will put that the link I just posted and the link to Mary's channel in the description uh, after this video renders so yeah and uh, oh you're welcome <laughs> you work so hard on that book I'll, I'll treasure it it's a treasure it's a treasure so uh, hi Pamela and anybody else I missed thanks everybody for coming and thanks all the lurkers and uh, we will see you uh, around the rest of the uh, Fibs, Friends in the Box streams throughout the week. And um, yeah, y'all have a hope y'all had a great Christmas and have a happy new year. All right, guys. God bless. Bye.